Hello everyone. Uh, yeah, today we're playing Sonic 2 uh, and also going to be playing Sonic 3 Air. Um, same stream, both games. I mean, Sonic 2 doesn't take very long. Um, let me know uh, that, you know, audio is sounding good. I mean, the game's not making any sound right now. It should be, you know, yeah. Let me make sure <clears throat> sound and everything's good. Uh, I'm going to be joined by some friends. I think they're not, uh, a lot of them aren't quite around at the moment. Um, but they will be on pretty soon. <clears throat> Good morning, Hayden Weirman. Um, yeah, I'm about to stream Real Peak. I mean, Sonic 2 is one of my favorite Sonic games. Sonic 3 is my favorite Sonic game. Um, it would honestly probably be Sonic 3 just a hair below its Sonic Mania. I mean, you know, they're, they're fighting pretty hard, those two. And then Sonic 2... Um, just a little bit below that and then generations kind of around that same level um, So I really like generations, but there's also there's there's stuff about it that I would I would change, you know, and kind of the The thesis sort of of my upcoming video that I'm still trying to write I'm really really trying to get the script for that done this week um, But it's it's tough um, Really yeah, I'm trying to convey, you know, a lot of the 3D Sonic games don't really play like Sonic games or what was established for Sonic. They're very different. Um, and that Generations is one of the only 3D Sonic games that even though it doesn't really play like Sonic, um, it's, uh, you know, they they try. Hi, Tom. Can't watch today, but yeah, I will, I will enjoy the best Sonic games. Uh, I thought I modded you. Hold on. Do you have two different accounts or something, Tom? Because I thought I found one already, and then I made you a mod, but it has, like, the same picture, different name. Um, but you are now a mod. Well, that account should be a mod. Am I going to collect all the emeralds? Uh, not for Sonic 2, because I can't be bothered, because the special stages suck. Um, oh, okay. Well, now you're modded on both of them. I was just making sure I didn't accidentally mod an account that wasn't actually you because that would have been bad <clears throat> um yeah i don't really like the sonic 2 special stages i mean they're a lot better in this um in this version you know in like the the ios like the mobile sonic origins versions which is what this is a decompilation of this is sonic 2 absolutes this is by the same people who made um sonic forever that i played last week um so yeah, this is just one of those things you just grab like a batch file and you run it with the the Sonic 2 RSDK, like the retro engine data file, and then it just it just works. <laughs> yeah, everyone go play Outer Wilds uh, after this. That's why I have the intro at the start. The streaming soon intro thing is just there as like my Outer Wilds propaganda. Uh, oh, let me make sure my source record plugin works again because I need to record this footage. So if I turn that on, yep, it's made a video file and. If I turn that off, um, video files there. Let me just watch that back. Just making sure it's working. Yeah, that seems right. Excellent. Hello, Bridge Moon Productions. Z ZB, ZB, how am I doing? I'm doing all right. Um, I'm just really, really, really trying to get this video done. Um, or get the script done. Dude, Sonic is having a hard time here. Um, yeah, I'm in the middle of writing a script. Ashman, 15k, thank you so much. You're <laughs> every stream, man. Thank you. Um, gonna be here for a bit before classes, but I hope the stream goes well. I hear you're almost done with Better Call Saul. What are your thoughts prior to the finale? Yeah, I've only got two episodes left. Um, it's really good. I don't want to say too much without, like, you know, spoiling it for anyone who hasn't seen it. I know there's a lot of people who have watched Breaking Bad, but, like, haven't watched Better Call Saul. Um, or like they want they want to get to it, but they just haven't done so yet. Um, hello, controller. Oh, my controller is being dumb. It's doing the the blinking light. Um, give that a moment. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Without saying too much, um, it's it's very interesting and in like the the sort of directions it's taken. They're a little different to what I expected. I was kind of expecting it would maybe. Um, have a bit more kind of crossover into Breaking Bad. Um, I mean, the episode I watched last night, the third last one definitely did a bit. 
but I was kind of expecting a bit more than that. Um, but it's not necessarily like a problem, I don't really mind, it's just an observation. Why is my controller not connecting? Hold on. Sorry, one second. I think I let someone else use it the other day, so maybe that's why it's uh, not coming through. Bluetooth device. Yeah, it is, it is very good. Yeah, the script recording, sorry, the script writing process is just a part of making videos that I really just, I don't enjoy. Writing the script, like, I, I'm not saying I would want, you know, the AI to do it for me, absolutely not. Um, I would only, you know, it's it's my video, it's my vision. Um, hello, Ted, yeah, come on in when you're ready. Um, why the fuck is my controller not, it's not even showing up on the Bluetooth uh, thing. But now it says it's connected, even though it's still, still blinking. I mean, I could, I have a cable here, I just have it like routed in a way so I don't have to, hold on, let's just, let's just use that. Let's just plug it in. Okay. Oh, oh the game just closed itself. What? <laughs> Open that back up. Sorry about that. Did they add the secret stage from the mobile version? Uh, the Hidden Palace? Yes. Um, oh, actually, no. I think they got rid of it in this version. I think you have to mod it back in. So I don't think it'll be there if I fall down the the Hidden Palace um, pit. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't think it's in here. It's crazy to think we get a masterpiece 3D Sonic game if Sega just hired people who did things like Utopia, Project Hero, or Roboblast, and boom, Sonic is back up to an industry standard. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even necessarily think, like, oh, the only way they could do it is if they hire these specific people. I just think, like, I don't know, if you just, like... Oh, yeah, you can probably see I've got a thing on my hand. Um... I got a mole removed, uh, potential skin cancer, but I haven't got the results yet, so. Um, I'm fine, it's just, you know, I just gotta keep that on. The stitches in there. Um, yeah, I don't even think they, like, need to have uh, yeah, drop dashes on, peel out, I don't really need. Um, that's fine. Super cancels on, not that I'm going super. Yeah, I, I feel like they sh you shouldn't need to, like, literally hire the exact same people, right? You should just be able to make a good game with these kind of ideas. Um, and again, uh, my new video is kind of about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, Sonic Studio looks really cool. Yeah, being able to like, make your own Sonic games and stuff. Um, Okay, people last stream said they really don't like the smooth rotation. Is it because- I've never really paid too much attention to it. Is it because of the way the- the pixels kind of scale on themselves? That's- that's my guess of why people don't like it. Um, I'm just gonna turn the game down just a little bit more. Oh, I can do it in here, kinda. Yeah, here we go. Um... There we go. Um, yeah, because I, I mean, just from, I don't know, I haven't really paid too much attention to it, but I always thought it looked kind of nice seeing Sonic go through the loops a bit smoother. But, um, yeah, I'm guessing it's just that kind of, yeah, the sprites, uh, you know, the pixels are of a certain size, and then you're sort of seeing them rotate at a, like, a bigger resolution than what they should be with the rest of the game. That's my assumption. I'll leave it off for in here. Um... Not sure what these other modes are they're gonna put in. Explore the forgotten tube in Chemical Plant Act 1. I don't even know what that is. Well, that's an easy one. Defeat a boss in 8 hits without touching the ground. <clears throat> Finish any act in a super form. Perfect bonus by collecting every ring in an act. Oh yeah, I should say, um, yeah, I'm absolutely still, you know, planning on getting this video done. Um, getting the script done and getting the video out and made and everything, but, uh, there's a chance I might be back at my, you know, previous job studio again. 
um, in like as, so as soon as like next week, maybe. Um, so if that happens, then the video is gonna have to be kind of on hold or at least very, very slowly getting made in the background while I'm back to working full time again. Um, and then obviously I won't, I won't make a Patreon or anything if, if I'm not gonna, even gonna be like here making videos all the time, you know? Um, all right, uh, let me turn on my source record in a sec. Um, yeah, I know Ted, you're out. I think Steve's coming back in a bit. Um, Jace, I think you said, I don't know if you're watching, but if you are here, you're welcome to join. Or if you want to wait for Ted and Steve or whatever to come in uh, when they're back, then you can. But otherwise, I'm going to start. So recording is on. Yep. All right. <clears throat> Sonic 2. Oh yeah, you can change to yeah, Knuckles and Tails and stuff as well. No Amy in this one yet, even though like it's by the same people who made um, who made uh, the Sonic 1 um, uh, fan. Sonic 1 Forever, it's by the same people, but yeah, no no playable Amy in this with that moveset yet. Uh, no. Screwed it up. Yeah, Sonic 2 I have played a lot, um, probably not as much as Sonic 3 because Sonic 3 is my favorite and I've just played it an absolute like fuck ton. Um, but yeah, Sonic 2 I think was one of the first Sonic games where it was just like, <laughs> where I, I found the appeal of just going like, I can just play this over and over and just do it faster and faster every time. Like I remember on the PS3 version, there was a there was an achievement um, for like finish Sonic 2 in um, how in like under an hour or something, and I was like, oh, don't even, <laughs> don't even worry, too easy. Yeah, I think my main complaint with this game is just that the the special stages are shit, and there's not really any reason to do them anyway, like the. Narratively, I prefer the bad ending anyway. Um, so like, and, and you know, the final boss doesn't change or anything if you get the emeralds. And yeah, like, I, I prefer the ending of um, Tails rescuing Sonic rather than Sonic going super and, and flying down. Um, you know, after Death Egg blows up, like, I, I prefer the bad ending. Yeah, I don't really like Oil Ocean. Oil Ocean, Metropolis Zone, yeah, I don't really like those, I'll admit. Um, and, uh, yeah, like, I, I just, obviously, like, okay, canonically, yeah, um, we have to assume that, you know, you get all the emeralds in this game so that Sonic 3 can happen. Um, I like to think the ending is uh, more so, like, um, you know, Sonic gets all the emeralds, he like goes super a little bit to finish off Eggman, uh, like the Death Egg robot, but then he still, you know, it's his first time going super, he falls to Earth normal, like as regular Sonic and then Tails has to rescue him. That's my like little combined kind of headcanon version of the narrative. Just kind of... Is that sort of, is that how the Archie like Sonic Genesis Thing had done it, I don't remember. Um, yeah, Sonic 2 is probably not going to take too long to get through. Sonic 3 will be a bit longer because, you know, it's a bigger game and also I'll be going for all the emeralds, um, which, you know, isn't hard, but uh, they do take a while. That's probably my only main, because uh, I've been wondering with this, um, with the Sonic video I'm writing now, talking about the way Sonic Adventure kind of changed the formula and how all the other Sonic games kind of followed from that. Why did I just do that? Um, is that they, you know, there's no special stages anymore. Oh wait, no, it wants me to go back up here. Okay, I've, I don't even take this route usually. Which Sonic games did I grow up with? Um, the first Sonic games I remember playing, and this is a slightly weird group of them, um, Sonic Adventure DX, unfortunately, the um, the PC version. Um, Secret Rings is one of the first ones I remember <clears throat> ever playing, or at least ever seeing. I remember that being the game that had just come out. 
um, at the time I started playing Sonic, and that was with my uh, my best friend Jay in primary school, um, who who was a huge Sonic fan, and that's how I got into Sonic. And I remember him playing Secret Rings. Uh, I remember him like restarting levels like over and over, like trying to time attack them. I think, and it was like. I'd be watching him play, and I'm like, dude, this is really annoying. Like, just, <laughs> just play the level. Like, stop restarting over and over. Um, yeah, I don't know why... <laughs> why did it have to be Secret Rings? I don't know. Um, but that's definitely one of the first ones I played. And then Unleashed would have come out after that. Um, I don't know when I started playing Mega Collection, because I definitely did. Like, I definitely did play Mega Collection. Um, I just don't remember when... So I definitely started on the 3D games. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's that easy. <clears throat> and that's another thing I'm talking about in the video of like, yeah, look, Sonic's never really had great boss fights, you know, even in the classics. Um, but uh, it's unfortunate that moving into 3D, they kind of made the bosses like. Uh, like even worse, like they just made the bosses a thing we just have to sit around and, and wait um, for shit to happen, and I, I don't like that in any game, you know, I just complained about it with Penny in the Penny video, if you haven't watched it, please do. Um, uh, I've complained about it in... God, I know I've complained about it in other videos, I just forget which ones. Um, I don't know, but it's a, it's a problem. <sighs> yeah, some, okay, sometimes the enemy placement in this game is a little annoying, but uh, not too bad. <clears throat> yeah, Sonic Adventure, Secret Rings. Eventually, like, Mega Collection and Unleash and stuff. I don't remember. Yes, Pariah's video on redesigning Sonic bosses I really, really like. Um, I've actually put that video of his in my... Um, I have a playlist on the channel, for anyone who's seen it, that's called, like, Great Videos You Should Watch. Um, and that's one of them in there. It's just, like, a video- a playlist of my personal video recommendations. Um, you know, it's stuff that I think, like, is really good or really important. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Ow. Very mad that the Insta Shield is just no longer Sonic's thing anymore. It was like they had it in Sonic 3. You can get it with like the uh, cheat codes in Sonic Mania. Um, but like that's it. Hello. Very annoying. Oh, Jace, hello. Sorry, I don't have the. I got streamer mode on on Discord, so I didn't hear the noise. Um. Uh, chat, can you hear Jace speaking on the stream? Does he sound good? Because I did, I did play, ow, I forgot you can't bounce on him properly. Um, I did play with the, um, Discord volume a little bit. Say someone else again, Jace, so they can hear you. Oh, I love Sonic the Stinky Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, thank god. <clears throat> What's my video making routine? I don't really have a routine because for the longest time I've never... Um, you can't hear anything? You can't hear Jace speak? I, I heard... No, everyone else says they can okay. hear you. Never mind. Yeah, I, I played your stream for a second, I can hear me. Yeah, cool. Okay, they're just gaslighting you. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't really have a video making routine because for the longest time I was never doing videos like frequently. Um, I would only be making videos in between work, you know, like, uh, YouTube wasn't my full-time job, it was a side thing I would do after work and on weekends, um, and that's why I wouldn't make stuff very often, because it was really draining, and just really time-consuming, and I would, it, it was my, you know, replacement for having, like, holidays, and, um, and just time off to do my own thing. So that's why I don't make videos very often, because they take so long. And yeah, it means I have no free time anymore. So I've been doing so many more streams recently, and I made the Penny video, and now I'm doing the Sonic video, because I've been unemployed. Because um, I've had nothing else to do. Um, 
And I did want to do a bit more like 3D modeling and stuff, but then it was just a case of like, well, I can do that, but um, I can't really like monetize it, you know, like unless I start doing commissions, like just me doing models and like posting them on Twitter or Instagram or whatever, like that's cool. Um, it's good. I'm learning um, and like getting back into it and learning Blender and everything. But I'm not like, yeah, I'm not really earning any money off it, which is kind of what I need to do right now because I don't have a job. And so that's why I was like, well, if I make videos, you know, I can grow the channel more. Um, may as well do it. I've always wanted to have time to do YouTube, you know, five days a week or whatever, four or five days a week, but I just never could. So now I can't, but I don't know how much longer it's going to last though, because I might be back at work pretty soon. So that's, yeah, my, my routine. <laughs> I mean, my routine at the moment is to try and loosely stick to the idea of nine to five or, you know, like a more like a six, seven hour kind of day. Um, I try to write as much as I can all day, but I also need to get more footage and kind of research. So it's sort of a mix of like actually writing and then just looking up stuff and like playing the games again to refamiliarize myself to make sure I'm not saying anything that's wrong. You know, I don't want to, I'm making a lot of kind of broad statements about like, you know, all 3D Sonic games have these same problems, but then I'm just kind of going like, well, hold on, let me just double check that I'm not missing anything. And then I have found a few little exceptions, which I'll be mentioning um, in the video as well. So yeah, my, my schedule at the moment is just kind of, hi, Emmy, um, is just kind of, I don't know, a bit all over the place. Okay, now it's time for like one of the only good Sonic bosses. Ah, oh, I forgot. Oh, hi Steve. Oh, it played the um. <laughs> I forgot it played the the Discord join sounds. Um, oh, when you come in. <laughs> that's fine. Well, I would I would hope your audience is old enough to know what a penis is. Well, I would yeah I would hope so. Uh, yes, uh, forgive my tardiness. Uh, I guess no, everybody right. on the on the planet today had to go return something at Target, and nice. then everybody on the planet had to use the UPS store. So lovely. <laughs> everybody, welcome uh, Steve Balloon Productions. He's here. You know him. Hey, what's up, uh, douche nozzles? Yeah, this is uh, this is Roger. Just uh, I wanted to crash kill him stream. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's him. I uh, yeah, I got a good friend uh, in the background here, uh, but I I'm trying to keep him quiet. <laughs> Oh, 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 chill out, dude, dude chill out, dude. Uh, bulldogs go mad. Yeah, yeah, it's going... <laughs> bulldogs go to That's what we're going to hear at Sonic Rev. We're going to be sitting at a table here. <laughs> I, don't know what, I don't know what you're talking about. No, I don't. Well, I know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to... No, I don't. We're going, to steal, we're going to steal Steve's panel and have our debate. <laughs> <laughs> And then today's we're all going to uh, go panel, eat at IHOP. Yeah, today's panel is about how to grow your IMDb page by once per year. <laughs> you know the worst yeah, thing? <laughs> My IMDb at the moment is still just someone made an IMDb listing for me from when I did the Sonic Adventure 2 reimagined... Um, project thing mm. so that's the only thing listed on my imdb even though like i've done other stuff but just i've never been credited <laughs> for any of it like even the um uh not the lego obviously the lego movie i worked on is not out yet so there's no credits um but i was on i did some lighting for another show at my other job called eddie's little homies and i didn't get a credit on that either even though i worked on it for like a few months like they asked for the credits early before i started and then I join, and they're like, "Oh, hey, make sure you add Caleb onto it." And they just didn't, um, as in the the stu like the studio making the show, not my. It wasn't my job's fault, um, so I didn't even get a credit for that either. So my IMDb is still just like this one Sonic fan video. I'm like, I mean, I could <laughs> go in and that add. Baby Alive? Yeah, well, there's no credits. I mean, the only credits for Baby Alive were like the the like studio heads it wasn't like any it was just like oh animated by pixel zoo or something like that was it um, and there was no yeah it was like the director and then like all the hasbro people kind of lame and yeah same with like teletubbies didn't have any credits or anything because it's all just youtube stuff youtube youtube kids stuff they never put credits in because it needs to like seamlessly you know churn the kids through all the videos uh 
one by one. Um, somebody made an IMDb of me, and it's like my fucking videos. <laughs> I'm like, those aren't, those aren't. Well, I mean, IMDb, to be fair, is just it's, it's just it's all user run. Right yeah. yeah, like I I could update mine if I wanted. Uh, also, I don't know if you guys want me to stream the game on Discord so you can see it better. That's fine. I know Sonic 2 like the best I, game. I'd like to just like hear the audio. Yeah. Like, uh, me, it's a good, that, yeah was, that is a good point. Mr. Shield, bam. Fuck you. Uh, okay. Um, uh, share screen. Sonic 2 Absolute. Bam. Okay. We should have that now. Oh, also, Steve, I don't know... I was looking at the community, um, like, moderation settings on Discord before the stream started, because I was going through, like, who I had modded and everything. And it had, mm. like, a... a mod list and, like, an approved user list. Um, and I didn't know if that was, like, the thing where it still kind of, like, shows their name, but doesn't necessarily make them a mod. Um, because I, I put a few people on that, like, I put, I think I put Emmy on that, because I was like, oh, I want people to see that, like, you know, someone like Emmy or, or whatever, or like, no, I think Jeb's modded, but like, you know, I want to see when these people come in, it's like, oh, it's, you know, it's these people, but I don't want them to feel like they have to actively be modding, you know, like, I don't want it to be like, right. hey, you're in the stream, you need to mod the chat. Um, and so I thought it was going to give them, like, a little name highlight thing, because I thought I'd seen that before on other streams, but I guess not, so I don't know if you're familiar I, with how I that works. I don't know, because I know we used to give out, like, Twitch mods, like, candy on Pixel Brains, because it didn't matter, but, uh, when you mod somebody on your YouTube channel, they can also, like, mod your comments and your actual videos, so right, I, I'm right. very extremely selective of who I let mod my stuff, because, uh, I know that sometimes people can be extremely harsh with criticism, but I don't want them to be silenced. I only right. like silence of just people who are uh, just being yeah. jerk offs. So. Yeah, because I just thought like whenever people join who I, you know, who I know, it's like, oh cool, like I want, you know, these names to show up, but yeah, I just don't want them to think they have to actually be like <laughs> actively modding the chat, like I don't want to, you know, put that on them. Right, yeah. I don't, yeah, I don't, I, I, I didn't mean. Well, never mind. <clears throat> Um, I'm sad I missed the opening of Sonic 2, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I, 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 I love Sonic 2. Ah, uh, but, uh, this I is the last stage, level. though, thankfully. Yeah, this is <laughs> yeah, the last stage. nothing after this. Yeah. I fucking love this song. I wish that this wasn't Generations over Chemical Plant. Yeah, I feel like the, they had the issue with Generations of, like, well, it was, like, the first time they'd done the deliberate old level stuff so it was like we have to pick kind of the really iconic stuff because if we don't it's gonna feel weird you know yeah. like chemical plant is a really iconic level um and it's also the second level so like oh whoa you know mr cave's like a really late level so if we put that in as the second stage it's gonna be weird but then also fucking planet wisp is the last level so um, <laughs> oh, Planet Wisp was a terrible choice for a last level. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a great, like, visual thing and the music and everything, but, um, not a, yeah, not, <laughs> it's easily the worst level of that game. I also, this, I remember thinking this back then, isn't that too recent to be in a game that's supposed to celebrate the history? Why didn't they go back to Sonic 1 and do, like, Scrap Brain Zone or something? Like, like, like oh, like, shit, like, now we're going back to the very... It, it is a little time, weird that know. it's, yeah, like, the game that came out a year ago, but, um, I guess to be fair, it's, it'd be kind of weird if you didn't have it. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's all good. Yeah, I just, I just thought, like, yeah, for people, it's like, oh, well, I, I know you guys, and, you know, you can come in, but I don't want to be like, hey, if you join the stream, you've got this big <laughs> wrench next to you, you got to be looking out on the chat. Like, I don't, yeah, I don't want to, um, I didn't want anyone to feel, whoops, uh, feel pressured. Also, I've been, I was revisiting some of my Sonic Superstars footage, um, I think yesterday, because I was, um, writing the part in my video about the aesthetics of Sonic, that Sonic Adventure kind of kick-started, like, the loss of, of sort of getting rid of the classic aesthetic, and then I was talking about how, you know, um, nowadays they try to keep it around, but not very well, and Superstars is my example of that, where, like, I don't think Superstars really looks like a classic Sonic game. Um, 
I might even end up cutting out a lot of that part in the video though, because it's it's quite it's a bit of a drag. It's very long, um, and the video is more about gameplay. But just like yeah, looking at all that footage again, I was just like sad, like looking at that game, going like, man, this is not what I wanted. Like Superstars is not what I wanted out yeah. of Sonic at all. I mean, like we were all there when they announced it. Like yeah. we were actually at games uh summer games fest i think our group like cheered the loudest like i was freaking out like a schoolgirl, like about like finally a, a fully original 2d sonic game but even at Whoa. that moment i felt like something's off about this i feel yeah. like they're showing the very best now but and then come to find out they did because the first level is the only good level let's do one special me. stage yeah i i had an <laughs> off feeling from the beginning but i wasn't like completely um, like I, I was skeptical, but I wasn't necessarily super worried. But then it was a thing where, like, the more of the game they showed, the more I went like, "Oh, hmm, not really, not really feeling this." Yeah, it it, it just makes me sad, just simply because, um, you know, you know me. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm actually really like. I know, despite popular opinion about me, I actually am really easy to please. I just don't accept crap. And unfortunately, Superstars is crap. I I felt it was crap about an hour in, and I should have refunded <laughs> it then. Yeah. But I, I I tried to stick it out, and and I paid for it because now I uh, you can't return it. And uh, it was it was just it's really unfortunate too because I think while the controls aren't perfect, they're pretty damn good. They're better than Sonic Four ever. Yeah, the movement so. like the the character movement feels really spot on, except for I think the Badnik bounce is fucked for some reason. I don't really know how that happened. Um, but, the music uh, drove me nuts, too. Like, that boss music, I actually almost like... Yeah, the bosses are awful. And, I, and I, I know we said it the other day in your stream, but yeah, like, Emmy, having, having to watch you fight that final boss was like, oh, man. Because yeah. I, I remember not enjoying that either. I had Steve, like, guiding me through it. Because he's like, don't worry, I'm going to tell you, like, where the bullshit is. I'll help you. <laughs> um, yeah, that yeah. was not that was not enjoyable at all. It was, was mad. I had it up like on the side. I would like go up and come back. I'm like, oh my god, like <laughs> she's still stuck. <laughs> I was really sad about that. I, I really, really wanted to like that game. I, I gave it every chance it could possibly have, and it just, it just unfortunately yeah. was very crap. You seemed the most excited out of all of us. I think I mean, Steve was the I, only I, one who was excited by the time yeah, it came out. I, I think the, the rest of us were like, mm. that, uh, I, I just, I usually like to try to give things the benefit of the doubt but and, and and to me it was like this is supposed to be the spiritual successor to sonic mania you know and i and i gave them a, a chance but now i've been burned and i'm like okay well next time i'm gonna be much much more careful about you know being excited about these things yeah because sonic mania made me feel things that i never thought i was gonna think again so like i i'm still i'm still on that high of sonic mania of like god this was just so good but man this needs to be an original thing like it the problem i have with mania i i will still say that sonic mania is my third favorite sonic game of all time without a doubt but it owes so much of its identity to things i already liked yeah so. well that's that's kind of the thing with um, superstars as well though is like it's supposedly original but then you look at the levels and you're like no these are like just kind of the same things we've done before um and then you look at like all the character animation and they're like almost entirely just like 3d versions of the mania sprites which is cool but it's also like oh so you couldn't make anything yourself like you didn't have any of your own ideas for how these characters should move and behave like in 3d you just you i just also don't appreciate copied. the comment about how pixel art is like oh that's like out the door yes. oh 3d is gonna i'm sorry but yeah. superstars already looks worse than generations a yep. game that came out in yep. 2011. yeah so no I, i've got that in the um, script at the moment too but again i might have to i might end up just cutting that whole part out because the video is looking really long right now it's like six thousand words <laughs> Um, I'm I'm also I've also been championing for a 3D classic Sonic game for a long time. I I don't need it to be a 2D throwback to the Genesis games. Look, no, I, I, I want Sonic a 3. new thing. I have Sonic 3 and Knuckles, okay, and that game is going to last me the rest of my life. I want to see a, a classic Sonic 3D game. It doesn't, and when I say classic Sonic, I don't mean Sega's watered down, bleached version of classic yeah. Sonic, where it's only allowed to be Green Hill Zone and a cute little chubby character. I want to see the opening of Sonic CD as a game. That's exactly what I want to, and yeah, that's 
that is kind of the thesis of my video of like every 3D Sonic game we've had, even like the, the good ones, they're not really Sonic games. They don't play the way these original ones did. And I think that's part of the reason for the like overall critical failure is that if they actually adapted Sonic into 3D better, more faithfully, I think they would have been better games and, and people would have just been like, oh yeah, I come to Sonic because I want to play a Sonic game, not this new thing that doesn't really play like Sonic anymore. Um, Not to promote something that I'm in, but like Sonic Breeze, the fan game that uh, looks that, so that good. I want to play it so bad. That that's what I want. I want them to take a 3D classic approach, but like with like like a new spin on it. Like, yeah. And not. I don't want the cookie cutter paint by numbers classic Sonic experience in a 3D game. I want them to take the classic Sonic formula and evolve it for 3D. And yep. you know. I know that everybody loves Frontiers and all that stuff, and it's great if you do. It's just that that doesn't do it for me. I can't just be plopped into a Unity asset flip and just boost around on the glued terrain. I want something that makes my mind active and I'm actually like, you know, doing really cool tricks. I always appreciate games where your full move set is from the start. And then mm. as you play the game, you get better. And then when, and then if the game is good, you go back to the beginning and now you're a master at it and it feels like a completely separate game. And yeah. it's just, we don't that's, get that anymore that's exactly because of what time I want. and budget. Well, the thing with yeah. Frontiers as well is like, they still haven't really given Sonic any new, like meaningful moves. Um, mm -hmm. Like he, he has just like the boost and then the spin dash, which is just the boost again. It's just a better boost now. Um, and you got all the same like, other moves like the stomp and slide and whatever which are like just not they don't really like do anything useful and i just think like why like yeah what i like about sonic breeze is they've given sonic like that um that like little flip move he can do in the air where he can like bounce around and then do this mm -hmm. mid-air flip where he's not in a ball but it gives him like an extra little jump a bit more distance but then also I believe, at least from from my suggestion that I that I gave him when I talked to him about it, I said like, "Hey, what what if like when he does that flip, he's vulnerable? Like he can take damage." Um, yeah. Because then it's like a cool risk reward thing, and he was like, "Oh yeah, like I'll I'll put that in." And because I I saw that move, and I was like, "That's the kind of shit I want Sonic to be able to do." And you, you look at like that Project Hero classic update mm -hmm. from a while ago. They still haven't shown off any more footage of it, but like. How Sonic can seamlessly like run on walls and stuff, kind of like Lost World, yeah. which had a good idea, but they just didn't really do shit with it. Um, yeah. I just think like, why, why can't we have that in 3D? You know, when Mario went 3D, they gave him all these. They gave him the dive and the the wall jump, the backflip, the the um, triple jump, and all this stuff. Sonic went 3D, and they didn't give him anything. Like, he got a fucking light speed dash. That's it. Um, <laughs> Somebody asked me, uh, what are my, what 3D Sonic games do I like? Uh, I like Sonic Adventure a lot, um, as flawed as it is, but I also come from the perspective I played it when it was brand new, so it blew my little, like, you know, 10-year-old balls off. I, I still love it. Um, I sort of like Sonic Adventure 2. I'm not, like, super big on it. Uh, I sort of like Sonic Heroes, but it, it, mainly Sonic Adventure. I do really like Sonic Generations a lot, but... Um, it's not really a Sonic game, like, if yeah. you think about it it, it, it is, like, you know, I don't personally consider the Boost gameplay to be, like, Sonic gameplay, like, it is exclusive to Sonic, of course, but when I go for Sonic, like, my, my idea of Sonic is, is like what Caleb's playing right now, uh, you know, like, about using Oops. the terrain to your advantage and, and momentum and, and rolling down hills and... Yeah, Generations, like, it came to that. yeah, Generations kind of has that, but it's done it in such a different way where I'm like, okay, I like this for what it is, but it's still not my ideal Sonic. Yeah. Um, whereas yeah, Isolated is a great game. Like, like on its yeah. own, Sonic Generations is a wonderful game, but I don't see it as the same thing as what you, like, like these, like the yeah, classics exactly. or Sonic Adventure mm -hmm. even. Because Sonic Adventure, while it is flawed, it is the closest thing to a classic Sonic game in 3D. And, that, and that's what my... Down to, like, recreating the sound effects and, like, you know, destroying the, um, the, the, uh, the capsule at the stuff, end. Yeah. You know, like, it, it's trying to be Sonic 3, but in 3D, and that's, that's why I like Adventure so much. That's what my video is about, of how, like, Adventure is the closest, but it's still not... If you ask me, it's not close enough. Like, it's still not really there. Um, I think the biggest problem is that it, that was 1998. And we're in 2024, and, and it's it still worse. hasn't. 
it, yeah, it's, it has never gotten better than that. Like, even yeah. Sonic Adventure 2, and I know that everybody loves Sonic Adventure 2. You're not supposed to talk bad about it. I, it's To me, it's still a downgrade from Sonic Adventure yeah, 1 in I terms agree. of, like, control and stuff. Like, you know, I know a lot of people in here, probably especially, get get their kicks off of, of like, the story and, like, the mood and the overall game. And that's great. But for me, like, a video game is supposed to be about a video game. Like, it's how it plays. It's it's what you're doing. Like, But I, it's also important to remember that all of us in here are from different generations. Ha <laughs> Like, Caleb is playing Sonic 2, right? He wasn't even Shoot. alive when that came out. Nope. You know what I mean? Like, I and I, I did. This was my first Sonic game. So my expectations of a Sonic game are going to be different than someone who started with Sonic Colors. Like, you know, and that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that no one is right and one is wrong. It's just that as a fan of the series... I have wants and needs, but I also don't feel entitled to them. But like people like Caitlin though are, are great because they just go out and spill their guts about what they'd like to see, not because they think that Sega's gonna yeah. listen and, and do what they want as like a slave or something, but just because the conversation should should spark imagination for other people to maybe think maybe they're right. Like I would like to like it to be like this too. So it's I'd just love to important. make my own little three yeah. D Sonic thing if I could. I just don't really know how um it would take you know it would take so much work to do it also demetrius you are right that yeah frontiers brought in non-fans by all the the not sonic stuff in that game like that's <laughs> it, that is completely not a sonic game to me like yes yeah, sonic's in it but in terms of like sonic's gameplay identity that is not a okay that's oh. not a sonic game <laughs> at all um and yeah part of what i'm trying to look at for my video is like i open it by saying you know like sonic adventure is maybe the first Sonic game I ever played. It was definitely one of my favorites growing up. I still have a lot of fondness for it, and like I love the music, and um, I, I still, it's got like my favorite, you know, voice acting era of the characters. Um, I think the story's like, okay, um, <coughs> but I'm trying to view it not as the Sonic adventure we have, but trying to think like, you know, my favorite Sonic games, even though I didn't necessarily grow up with them, are the classics. How would I feel if I played Sonic Adventure now for the first time, looking at it as like the 3D evolution of these games? You know, if I put aside my familiarity with what already exists, if I try to picture myself as like a kid in 98 when Sonic Adventure came out, all the <laughs> things that are like missing and all the stuff that I would notice, which we kind of just ignore now because we're all used to it, <clears throat> um, I'm trying to think of like, yeah, what, what would you notice, like, playing Sonic Adventure now? Where you go like, huh, oh, I can't, like, do this thing anymore. Oh, I can't do this thing anymore. Like, there's no special stage, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm using that as the basis for, like, Sonic Adventure was clearly an attempt to capture the classics in 3D, obviously with some changes, some of them good, some of them bad. The problem is that every game after it, instead of trying to get closer to what Sonic is, they just further <laughs> changed it. Uh, for the worse, in my opinion, took away Sonic's original identity. I, I, I don't want to just continue to bash on Frontiers because I know that people really like it, nope. and I'm, I'm not trying to invalidate people's opinions ah. about, like, you know, if they like something. It's just oh, that. Oh, the other day when Ted was playing that really shitty King Kong game, I'm like, how is this any <laughs> different than Sonic Frontiers? Like, I like legitimately feel that way. Like. Like, yeah, maybe Frontiers is less buggy and, and such, but, like, to me, it's the same thing. It's just a big, empty nothingness where you have the most basic controls imaginable. And, and like, the story cutscenes are just nothing. It's it's just Sonic yeah. doing his fuck-me face to Knuckles for an hour. It's just so... It's just so bare bones, like, and, and just... I just... I will say, like, obviously, you know, everybody's allowed to feel how they want to, but just for me, I'll never understand why Frontiers was this big. No, I, I don't people, understand it. People who I respected, I've lost my respect because they're like, this is peak, this is peak. And I'm like, what? You were just art complaining two years ago that this is the, the kind of thing that we shouldn't be doing. Yeah, anymore, that but. was a bit of a 180 from some people, which I found a bit strange of like, we we're all complaining about Frontiers and then it came out and then we decided we actually love it now. Um, well, yeah, because because you got flown to Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, you be complaining about like the IGN scores and like critics scores, which I yeah, never I understood don't. why. I don't like that. I'm really sick of that shit. Yeah, it's like it's like a donkey's video about uh, game reviewers. Like, yeah, like you can't say IGN hates Sonic because it's individual people doing the reviews. 
And also, who gives a shit? Whether, like, look, even though I, I hate Frontiers, like, if you enjoy it, who gives a shit? Go love it. Like, have yeah. fun. Like, why would you care no, that's, what someone else thinks? That's what I've always said, and that's what I opened the Frontiers video with. I had, like, a big disclaimer of, like, this is all just my opinion. There's no objectivity in, like, criticism and stuff. You know, if if you disagree with this, that's fine. But, like, if you want a, you know, a, quote, objective review, go read Wikipedia. Um... You know, and then like people read that and get mad where they're like, no, actually, it is objective and you're, you're stupid. I've lost all respect for you. And I'm like, dude, I'm literally telling you your opinion is allowed and fine and you can think differently to this and you're still getting mad. You're saying that no, actually, like, I should think that, I don't know, mine is right or that theirs is right. I don't know. Like, it's just some people it's are very, very know. insecure. Yeah, we live in an age now, like, you know, like, the, with the rise, like, social media is now in our blood, unfortunately, and just people are, A, insecure as hell about their opinions. Like, like people people come to me with big glowing eyes hoping I'm going to validate their opinion, and when I just say I don't like something, it's like they, they lose respect or, like, they don't like me anymore. It's so like, I'm, well, I'm worried about that. <laughs> I'm about worried about that with my next video. Um, like, people are going to go, like, oh, I thought you liked sonic adventure or something which like i do <laughs> but it's gonna sound pretty negative this video but it's also that people like you know in these desperate sad times are so attached to things that when you insult it for your own sake they get all pissy about it but it's like the thing that doesn't make sense to me is why if, if you enjoy something why do you uh, care that someone else doesn't shouldn't you just go enjoy the thing I, yeah. pizza is my favorite food but if someone said i fucking hate pizza i'd be like and you know like who cares i'm gonna still eat it i'm still gonna enjoy it or you know it's like um you know for me like my favorite sonic game of all time is sonic 3 knuckles i personally think that sonic 3 knuckles is the peak of video games of sonic of all that but when people go and say like they think sonic 3 is overrated i don't get mad about it and, and like clench my uh. asshole i just go okay well they didn't care for it cool i'm gonna continue to like it i just i just it's hard for me to wrap my head around I enjoy something, but because somebody who I don't know and never will speak to doesn't, hi, I'm gonna get mad. Like, why? Yeah. No, also, yeah. Hi, Marcy. It's stupid. Um, yeah, I, I'm a little worried with like, I, I'm I'm worried people are gonna think my next video is just like, oh, so you just you're one of those Sonic had a rough transition to 3D people, or you know, you think that 3D Sonic can never work or something. Even though I'm gonna have like. At least fucking like probably three times where I'd say the opposite of that. Oh fucking hell. Um, where I like specifically say no, I don't think that. Like I, you know, I'm actually quite optimistic for 3D Sonic in terms of its potential, not in the likelihood of it like happening um, officially. But you know, there's like all these amazing fan projects. Yeah, someone asked what Sonic Breeze. It's the um, it's the uh, fan fan game in Dreams. Um, by mm -hmm. a, a user on Twitter is called it Buppy. Buppy? Or Buppy? I think it's, well, it's double think double it's... P, so it's Buppy, right? Okay, um, so yeah, Buppy. And he, yeah, it's a uh, um, Dreams uh, classic Sonic fan game with like a '90s anime aesthetic, really cool movement. Uh, Steve is voicing Sonic in it, um, and uh, yeah, it looks it looks really really fun. I wish I could play it. But I won't be able to because it's on dreams. We're gonna make Ted bring his PS5 on the trip so I can so I can <laughs> yeah, try it. Um, it's only I on PS5. Mention, I, I, I had to do some lines for uh, the game yesterday. Mm. It's, it's 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 fun because it's not my normal Sonic voice. He wanted a very cheesy '90s voice for Sonic, and I'm like, hey, I'm I'm down. Let's go. Ah shit! I was trying to look at the chat for a sec. Mm. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to keep it. I was going to animate while I was streaming, but I want to try to keep an eye on the chat for you just in case. Yeah. Uh. Anyway, no, yeah, it's just like, like, you know, earlier Alberto Productions says, like, you know, yeah, like, Steve and Caleb don't like the Sonic movie, but it doesn't stop, you know, me from joining. Yeah, exactly. I, I just, it, listen, like, I'm just somebody who likes to try to think logically, okay? Like, I, I, I have OCD, so I'm by the numbers. And it's like, how does one person out of 8 billion people not enjoy something take away from your enjoyment of it? It's like, it's different if someone is like shitting on you for liking it. Oh, then you can yeah, get yeah. upset. Completely fine. But if somebody is in their own corner on their own Twitter or their own Discord or their own YouTube channel saying, I don't like a thing, shut the fuck up and let them not like the thing. Opinions are a two-way road. You can't just, it can't yeah, just be, people try I to... enjoy thing and, and, and you have to as well or else I hate you. It's like, why? It's so, <sighs> it's so stupid. People oh, try yeah, to say to me that I've says, done that. 
Yeah, no, you you literally like, dude. Like, okay, like I know, like I'm biased because I'm like one of your best friends and stuff. But it's like, you don't do that. You you construct your own opinions on in your own space. People come into your space and start start shipping. Yeah. But yeah, Marcy said uh, a lot of people got really upset about the boost to win line. I yeah, I improv that because he doesn't ever really give me a script. He's like, yeah, just just wing it. I'm like, oh, okay. You know, and and I thought, oh, that'd be funny. You know, because to me, you know, the boost games oh, are just are, like, are, our child's play. You just press the boost button and you just go until you stop. It's, that's, yeah. But yeah, people got so upset. <laughs> I'm glad they did. It invoked it invoked an, uh, an emotion out of them. <laughs> besides, besides, oh, uh, let me just say, say, I want to say this while we're on this on this topic. If you say consume Sonic products or media, please don't talk to me. <laughs> it's just. You shouldn't be consuming media. You 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 are purchasing media. You are paying your hard-earned money for media. Don't consume it. Oh, guys, yeah, this video is so good because Knuckles has his hat on. Like, because oh, Knuckles is stuck. eating grapes. Yeah. Oh, guys, Knuckles is eating grapes. They care. Meanwhile, like they support like a genocide. You know, it's fine. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God! Why you gotta bring politics into my side? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's political of dying babies. It's that's that's so political. <laughs> as as we all know, Sonic as a character would really be in favor of genocide. Yeah, Sonic would say blue yes. lives matter. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, he's gonna say that, isn't he? Oh, he's yeah, gonna because say he is blue. He's <laughs> like, hey, Knuckles, blue lives matter. <laughs> yeah, Sonic. Sonic is a symbol of hope and freedom, trying to stop an oppressor. But he, oh, don't make it political, though. Don't make it political. <laughs> You know, speaking of the yeah. movie, what do we think of Keanu? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, yeah, what do we, the hive mind, the Sonic fan base, going? <laughs> I, 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 it's like, the, it's, it I, is the a... most boring, generic Reddit fucking pick for a voice for <laughs> Shadow they could have done. There was a conversation in my Discord yesterday about like, I just, just why would they pick him? Like, what do you mean why? He's he's a fucking movie star that 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 well, mom and pop know. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's like, that's why. It's because, uh And you know, it's everyone's like, oh, just like, oh, just be happy. Like, I, I don't have to just, I'm not gonna follow in your foot. These movies are shit. I don't, I don't have to care. I got so many messages. Hey, Steve, what do you think? I'm like, I, I don't care. I don't know how many more times I gotta say. I don't like these goddamn movies. <laughs> you know. Alvin and the Jacks movies. I got someone asking me, oh, like, so what do you no. think of, like, the shadow motorcycle thing? And what I was like, I... I don't know, like, I I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> I don't really uh, have in-depth thoughts about every tiny little bit of Sonic news, I just don't give a shit. Yeah, I, I'm just curious if I'm gonna get another invite to the premiere, because, like, as much as I hate the movies and don't want to see them, you don't say no to Daddy Sega when you're trying to... Yeah, I'm I mean, not, if they're gonna listen, let you go for I'm, free, then, you yeah. know, like... Well, it's know. also, like, <clears throat> I... Okay, let me let me make this straight. Even though this is not my channel, I'm sorry to, to take up the, the cloud or the air with this, but I don't have aspirations of working for Sega. If I was offered a voice role at Sega, I'd take it in a second. Like if I if they came to me, I would be honored. And they and they have for different stuff. Um but I'm not like trying to be on that grind to work for Sega. Oh boy, let me, you know, move in like to, to, to right next door to them so I can, you know, like be like, guys, I'm right here, you know. Uh but I also have a huge oh. amount of respect for Sega because they allow me to do what I do. Obviously, what? you know, I make ooh, I make Sonic animations and I love Sonic, but like I'm also not like aspiring to like be a part of Sega or anything. So I'm very, I'm very, I'm very respectful that they allow me to do what I do. They seem pretty cool with, you know, people making a living on their IP, which is huge props, but well, it's kind of like what it was kind of like what Jeb said in his video when like um, when Aaron Weber like DM'd him and said like hey um, I think it'd be really cool if you know like, if you were able to put this passion into like getting involved officially one day and then you can sort of you know deliver the change you want to see and in mm -hmm. one and like I think Jeb was kind of like yeah that's like cool but also I think I'd rather wait until. I wouldn't want to do that until I know that Sega's not going to still be like a shitty company, making like yeah. rushed games and stuff. I, I a lot of my 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 Sonic Twitter or Sonic Mutual like you know Sonic Tubers and friends like they're all like oh like I want to work for Sega, I want to be a voice actor, I want to animate. I'm like, you guys know that they're like a pretty 
shitty company to work for. Yeah, right? they like they're they they're actively the trying to dismantle the union that the workers are coming up with. Like yeah. they're not. They're not. You're not going to be sitting in an office controlling what they do with Sonic. That's that's like the top level like executive types like katie and all and justin and all those overworked poor people like they're 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 barely hanging on to a, with a company that makes billions so it's like it's not well, like even a with dream like dream job even with all the stuff in flynn's doing with idw and sega like he still has like a patreon and everything that he's running i'm assuming because he's yeah. probably not getting paid a ton for the work he's doing i i listen like i love sonic and i respect sega i really do but like it's not it's not an ideal place to go. Like I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be the controller oh, of Sonic T Hedgehog. You know, is, is yeah. my job. Or, you know, you can you can you can criticize them though, and they'll and they'll take it. You know, I, I appreciate that about them. But, but yeah, you know, if I get invited to the third movie, I, I'd go. Just just why not? I only live like an hour away from where they're held, and you know, go say hi to Katie and Aaron. And I got this uh, meet some call me Johnny for the first time at the last one. That was worth it alone. I, it's, I've told the story on stream before, but man, it's just so funny. The drastic difference between myself and, and all, a lot of these other Sonic YouTubers, like they're all like the, after the woman movie ga came out and, and like, uh, uh, like the shadow after the crash, they're all jumping around, bouncing, screaming, like, Oh, this is the most peak thing. It's amazing. Steve, what'd you think of the movie? I'm like, eh. And they just, they looked at me like I was like an outsider. <laughs> Johnny was You're cool, gonna get though. us fired. Yeah, I, it's funny. I actually got, I got a message the other day from uh, somebody who's like, you know, they're, they're, you know, bless their soul, but they're trying to, they're one of those people that are trying to like get big in the Sonic, like uh, the, the, the Sonic tube, like they're like, oh, I'm a future Sonic tuber. And they're like, Steve, I'm just wondering, how did you get invited to the so Sonic premiere? I'm like, like over a decade of hard work and recognition. <laughs> you know, like I didn't do anything specific. Yeah. I. I I don't want anybody to even know I'm alive. It's not my fault that my videos do well, you know. I, I um, I, I would say grind for other things, not 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 Sonic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, I'm not. I'm the kind of listen. I say all these this 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 shit talk about it, but I'm not gonna lie that when the Sega logo appeared in the movie, I teared up because I remember putting that Sonic Two cartridge in for the first time, and it changed my that life. That was like it's, the only cool part it, of the movie. Yeah, was just seeing like the big Sega thing with the orchestral like. Sega title call and being like, oh, that's yeah. that's like kind of cool. I I remember Sonic. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I it's just that like you know I owe Sonic everything. Sonic is why I have the love of my life. I have all my best friends and and, and a career that I'm really proud of. And and you know, so I did get choked up thinking that you know all those nights animating for you know twelve hours in a row to get something done and was worth it you know or like you know like the ups and downs of being a youtuber and stuff or like it's worth it when you get to that point but i am not i am not an ass uh. kisser by any means it's it's funny because i'm like wait why did they invite that person to go talk about a sonic game like they don't they don't really like sonic games it's like oh well because they have the numbers you know Hello? and for the record Join as us. well i'm making a oh ted's here oh, Hello. 10. um I mean, you know uh, i am making a <laughs> sonic video next but like after that Probably not doing any more Sonic stuff for a while. I, I don't want this channel to only be Sonic videos. The only yeah, reason I'm... I do some Jurassic Park stuff. I was actually thinking that I'd like to do more <laughs> Jurassic stuff. I just don't know what. Well, I mean, Jurassic Park survival's coming out, Caitlin. Talk well, about, like, I'll, Jurassic I'll... Park games and why they're shit and why... why this is, you gotta do, like... Okay, look. Like, I love those 90s games to death, but, like, you know, oh, you went from Jurassic Park games being about just blowing up raptors to now, like, you know, like, they, like you're just... I'll do know, a video like, on survival when it comes out, but until then, I don't really know what I would talk about um yeah but uh yeah like i'm only streaming all these sonic games because i need the footage for my video um mm. and then i'm probably gonna have to do metroid prime at one point because i need some footage of that for the video um and after that i'm not really sure what i'll do next um i don't know <laughs> and that's assuming if i'm even still on youtube and not you know back at work full time which is probably the better decision for at least a while because i've got the <laughs> trip in less than like two months now I'm gonna be at, at Steve's Don't place. Say that, so. I still need to clang my pennies together. Make a comprehensive video essay more. on how my channel came from Ben 10. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Come on, Caleb. It'll be I'm a not success. Doing that. I, I like. I I wish that you would have been able to do this, Caleb, during when YouTube actually worked, because I feel like you would you would have probably been like established by now because unfortunately 
becoming uh, a YouTuber now is almost impossible. I'm still surprised the Frontiers video is still only at like 30 something thousand views. The Penny videos are only like 5,000 views away from the Frontiers one, which I find kind of crazy. Of like, I did this big Sonic video and like, I mean, it did well, but it didn't. I don't know, like, it just didn't do as well, well I mean, as I thought him, it might I've, I've told you this before, but I'll say it for the for the audience, whoever is doing YouTube videos. The reason why Penny's doing well is because it's a small fish, or it's a big fish in a small pond, where Sonic Frontiers, everybody's talked about Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, like, that's everybody's true. Everybody's made, made a, like, oh, here's why Frontiers is poo, here's why Frontiers is pee. Not many people have talked about Penny, and not many Sonic creators have talked about Penny. I mean, even me, I, I, I'm happy for Penny, but I'm not interested in playing it. But because I know that it is from the team that made Sonic Mania, I wanted to hear what a Sonic fan had to say about it, and that's mm. why your video was important. So I think that's why it's doing so well. Uh, Sonic, yeah, Sonic, like Sonic video essays, especially, are extremely flooded right now. Like everybody's well, and that's doing and that's why I'm trying to. If I make a Sonic video, it's only to offer a very different perspective, and then you know I move on to other things. Like I don't want to just be doing Sonic stuff, and that's why I'm actively trying with this 3D Sonic video to not make it like a Sonic discourse video. I'm not trying to make a video for Sonic fans purely to like discuss and shit. I'm trying to make a general game design video that anyone could watch whether they are you know vaguely fans of sonic or super fans like i'm not trying to make targeted sonic fan videos um i know i know these streams are a lot more like that because all the sonic fans coming in we're going to be talking about that stuff but i'm not i don't want to make a video about why you know the, the fucking muzzle curve is important to sonic because even though i i believe in that i'm not trying to make these hyper specific Sonic discourse videos, you know. Um, yep. Really don't want to do that. There's way too there's way too many people out there that are like just stop complaining. It's like no, keep complaining. If you love something, you'll criticize it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, that was Sonic Two, by the way. Oh uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, me, me, me love Sonic Two. Good game. Um, <laughs> still not as good as Sonic Mania and Sonic Three to me, but uh, still still very very good. Sonic 3 is Hello, just... Hello, if Booms. The Sonic 3 is just absolute peak of all time of any game, Sonic or not, for me. I love that game so fucking much. Um, I forgot to... I also to, like Sonic 2 a lot. I forgot to show I'm I'm distributing mm -hmm. Outer Wilds propaganda today. Ah. Oh, my headphone cable, hold on. <laughs> Take it off first. Um, uh. Wait, this way. There we go. Oh, done. Yeah. Well, there it is. Sonic 2 I definitely take as, yeah, a lot more speed focused. I, Sonic 2 I just play to get to the end as quick as possible. I don't really try to explore or get the emeralds or anything. Sonic 3 to me is like the complete all-in-one, you know, it, it's got the... It's got the speed platforming and exploration, like, all perfectly balanced. Um, although I will say... When I was playing it again the other day to get, um, just to practice a bit, I was trying to get like the achievement for time attacking Angel Island Act 1 in like 45 seconds. And I realized like, I'd always kind of noticed it, but just how like weirdly kind of clunky the level design is in Angel Island Act 1 with like all the rocks and spikes everywhere. And the loops are like kind of weirdly shaped. They're like sort of, um, uh, ovals, like horizontal ovals a bit, like you can't as easily roll through them, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know, like obviously I still love Sonic 3, I just, I just found the, when trying to time attack that level, I just noticed, like, huh, the design is a little bit weird. Uh, alright, launching Sonic 3 Air. Uh, I'm waiting for OBS to pick it up. You, you want to talk about peak? Now here's the peak. Sonic 3, baby. Wrong. And I'm always very... Run, so wrong. I'm always very, like, hesitant about getting too uh, attached to, like, mm -hmm. fan mm -hmm. remasters and updates to games and stuff, because I'm always worried it's going to, like, cloud my memory of it. Like, I'm going to remember the better version and not the one the developers actually originally made. So then when I'm doing something like this now, where I'm making a video talking about stuff, I'm going to, like, forget that, oh, actually... The original Sonic 3, as it is, does actually have this problem that I'm just so used to being fixed in all these, you know, fan versions. Yeah, you fool. Um, 
That's Meanwhile, like my, I'm still playing on my cards. <laughs> and that, that's my I hesitancy still... with playing like Super Metroid Redux is like it's so much it fixes all these little things in Super Metroid, but then I'm worried that like then I'm gonna forget like no, Super Metroid didn't actually do that. That's the better version you're used to. And you know, I go back and play the original one and I'm like, oh now it's like hard to go back. Now I can't do it anymore. Yeah, um, I, I I still prefer playing on the original cartridges. Like I I'll, I take the flaws just because it's part of what it was. But again, I played it when it was brand new. I remember seeing the commercial for Sonic Three and being like, I gotta go get that. So, so. this is yeah, this is yeah, Ace. Absolutely, this is the best game of all time ever. Uh, also, Alberto, I noticed that your voice in the Sonic Breeze fan game sounded close to Drummond. Was that intentional? No. Uh, I did. I did about seven or eight different voices uh, in the original audition, and he he was very specific. Excuse me. He wanted me to sound like uh, I don't know what the name of the character is from uh, Evangelion, but um, it's like a boy character. He wanted it to have like a raspy '90s quality to it, so I just did as as he asked. So. <laughs> Um, I don't think I need to change too much. I think I've already got everything set up in here. I did get a bunch of mods that Pariah recommended. A lot of them are just tiny little fixes, and then there's other stuff to like add in extra characters, but I'm not going to play as the other characters um, for now anyway, so <laughs> no need to worry about that. Yeah, stuff like this, of like, yeah, the Lava Reef boss fight changed from like 14 hits to, to 8, you know, where it's like, oh yeah, I kind of forgot that like that boss originally is even more boring. Because it just you're just waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, not it is a Shinji, good boss. by the way. I looked it up. Yeah, they, they, he wanted me to sound like Shinji, but I obviously can't hit like that, so I oh. just tried my best to sound like that while also sounding like Sonic. I don't have that act result skip mod. It did look really cool though, but I don't have it. I could get it right now if you want. I could quickly find it. Um, I think What's I have the. Uh, it skips the like tally up results thing at the end and it just like seamlessly just moves you straight into the next level um, Wow, it's pretty cool. Let me let me have a quick look um, I gotta go to my Sonic 3F folder and grab the airdrop thing I do like I am avoiding I don't want to have any mods that make the game like totally noticeably different because this is the footage i'm using for the video and i don't want it to like obviously it's already widescreen and there's a few little quality of life things but i don't want it to be like this mod fucking gives sonic like this whole new move set or whatever you know and that's gonna the footage in the background is gonna feel a bit on uh incongruous with what i'm saying because it's like well that's not original sonic 3 you know you're playing like a heavily modified version um i've always loved that render in the background even in the original game yeah, it's nice. Um, I'm trying to find the mod. There's faster level result. Oh, no act results? Is that the one? Um, updated three years ago. What's this video on? Uh, the video I'm making is uh, the title I haven't nailed down yet, but I'm leaning towards some, you know, Sonic 3D gameplay, like lost in translation or. Um, uh, the stagnation of 3D Sonic gameplay, something like that. Um, just talking about the way that I think Sonic games have inherited a bunch of issues from Sonic Adventure that weren't as big of a problem in Adventure, but then the longer they go on, the more you realize, like, man, they never, they really just stuck with this foundation and never built on it and, like, never made it better, never fixed it, never went back and changed it and went, oh, maybe we should make it play a bit more like the classics that you know people are here for um yeah i'm downloading the no act results mod it's got the black and white thumbnail um will uh do i watch anime no <laughs> no i do not he sure does uh let's see um is it in here or do i need to close the game i think you need to restart the game yeah one moment. Sonic 3 yeah. air. <clears throat> you should have streamed all the frustrations you had last night trying to get that back to the future. Oh my mode. god. <laughs> I was trying for like an hour and a half to get um to get the Vice City Back to the Future mods working because I was going to make a point 
in my video. Uh, it's still not in here. Back That's weird. The sucked. Yeah, I know. Thank I was going to make a point about how Sonic CD's time travel would be even better in a more 3D environment because you'll be able to see ahead of you and you can do all sorts of cool um, tricks with Sonic's movement. Um, and I was going to say, and I know this because I've played all of these Back to the Future mods for GTA where you drive around in the DeLorean and are on the road dodging cars and like building up speed until you time travel. Uh, so I want to get some footage of that, so I had to re, you know, I had to reinstall the mods, and then they just were not working at all. They were refusing to cooperate. It was very annoying. Um, speaking of Back to the Future, I sent you the video earlier, uh, Caleb, but uh, yeah, the Doc Brown actor was out today uh, for oh, the yeah, studio saw. tour, and he actually sounds a lot like Christopher Lloyd. Like he played it really good. That's cool. Uh, it's going to be hard for me when we go on the tram tour not to go break back. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was. That's what we're gonna be saying. I imagine just like, hey, where's the right? Hey, is that the eight passenger Delorean? Can you bring that back? Can you can we go back to when this theme park was good before they destroyed Jurassic Park and yeah. ruined Back to the Future? Okay, I downloaded the mod through the airdrop thing, but it didn't work. So I'm just I'm downloading it directly from Game Banana. Um, give that a go. Yeah, but did Sonic crap in the force field then? He crapped in there. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, that looks better now. Um, so, do Hi, I Bruce. need to? Oh no, there we go. Do you want to call no act results. To no, he hates me. I don't no, know. He's just where... yelling down the stairs, so I open the door and I'm like, "Okay, what do you want?" He just looks at me. He's been really needy today. I feel bad. He was sleeping off. next to my head. I didn't realize he was there. I went to scratch my nose and I bopped him in the face when I went to scratch my nose. He was like right next to my face. You know, a little disgruntled verp sound that cats do. Okay, <laughs> one moment. I'm about to start. Sonic 4 is a good game. No. No. I can't. I actually, I actually am on record as stating that Sonic 4 Episode 1 is the worst Sonic game of all time. Do you guys and remember nothing, um, Comic Dog? When, when people say Sonic. Comic Dog? No. He was the one who, well, he used to say something, something is good for me, and then to poop on. That's what we need to say with Sonic 4. Sonic 4 is good for me. To poop on. Carry I was going to say, uh, what folks good at. people will throw Sonic Boom in my face, but like, yeah, Sonic Boom didn't say it was the sequel to Sonic 3. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, like, I don't think Sonic 4 is bad just because of, like, the marketing thing, but I, as on its own, it is still just a shit game. Like, it is not yeah. fun at all. It is the, it, like, honest to God, Sonic 4 is like if you told yeah. an AI to make a Sonic, Sonic 3. 4. Best Sonic game. Oh, I'm not streaming on Discord, I, whoops. Yeah, I was about to say, I, I hate, Discord. Yeah, I hate Sonic. Uh, Sonic. Oh, that's an interesting, uh, this is a interesting most interesting one. concept. Uh, yeah, Sonic 4 Episode 1 is decent, Episode 2 is not. I always thought everyone nah, thought it would be the way around. around. Yeah. Episode, episode two, two is like had some pretty interesting ideas. Yeah, episode two is like kind of a video game that's not like <laughs> shit. Oh, I gotta remember I don't have the drop dash because I have to re unlock it with the achievements. Um, so I won't have the drop dash for a while. Oh, I can get that an achievement said, here. If you like Sonic 4, you're yeah, that's fine. Allowed to like I just, it. I just I'm, don't I'm agree. Gonna... I liked Sonic 4 when it came out because I didn't know any better. I just played it like, all right, cool, whatever, it's Sonic, I guess. It is Sonic. I didn't have that critical thought yet. I just had that thought, oh, this is Sonic, so it's good. Oh, this is this is peak of the peak of the peak of the peak. <laughs> really curious if we did if we actually got a mania to like what the special stages would be, because the superstars special stages are such a cool idea, just done so badly. Fuck like the green emerald. Oh yeah, my God. I think that was the one I couldn't even get. Uh, I'd have to check my footage of it. I, yeah, I remember, I think when you when you did your first playthrough, I think you couldn't get it all the way up to like near the end of the game. Yeah, no, I didn't. I did not get all the emeralds and superstars. And I didn't, I haven't gone back to the game since because I just don't <laughs> care. Dude, uh, I remember, oh man, the day uh, Superstars was about to launch, I think it was like an hour before launch, I'm going, oh man, I'm gonna like play this game like 10 times tonight, I'm gonna play through it, there's all the characters, like, and then tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and play it again, and then like, 
Sonic, I just played as Sonic the whole time. What a slog. And then I just, I was, I didn't bother. I didn't bother getting the final ending. I didn't bother. No, I haven't done it trip story. I just said, forget it. It's not worth it. This game sucks. And I yep. just turned it off and just was done. Yeah, I, I, I tried to trip a tiny bit. Like when I got her, I was like, oh, okay, let's see what this is like. Um, and then I went, oh, this sucks. Um, and uh, have not. Yeah, see, uh, the loops are like weird in this level. Like you, you try to roll through them and then Sonic like breaks his roll. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, they're like oddly shaped. Yeah, you can say it's super weird, do you mean? I could say it's super weird. Okay. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. That's good. Oh, they put in the- oh, I must have a mod on that puts on like the Origins cutscene thing there. I don't know as I did that. Because I think that was a mod that put in a few of the Origins, um, inclusions. Uh, like the good ones, you know, the, the cool shit. Um, but I didn't realize it had that as well. Long time no see, Zaka one Hello. Did you guys know that the Blue Sphere special stages all correspond to the color palettes of the zones in the game? <gasps> I know. I know, it's pretty fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my Reddit, that is crazy. <laughs> oh my Reddit! Oh my, Keanu Chungus Wholesome? <laughs> Keanu? Shadow? Oh, cool. They're gonna do that. That's gonna be- he has to see Shadow and be like, Whoa, well, huh, you sound kind of familiar, dude. <laughs> Have I seen you on Reddit before? <laughs> Have I upvoted one of your comments? Well, I, the hope, only... I hope Shadow T. Hedgehog watches John Wick and gets the idea to do Chaos Control from that. The only the only reason why I'm happy the third Sonic movie exists is so that I can see Caitlin's video about it. Oh, that's if I even make one. You might do a podcast type thing like you did last time. Your immediate thoughts after watching it. Who said I'm watching it? Well, you're not gonna you're not gonna pay for it. That's for sure. But <laughs> no. somehow, if, if if it's being played on the side of like a building near you, for example. And you there's to still it. there's still a chance I could work on it uh, actually, but um, not really sure. I mean, actually, I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I could work on it too. I know people. <laughs> I think I, I saw. Um, I think I saw uh, the studio behind like Dream Team or something. Um, Posted like a job listing. So they had like pictures of Sonic Dream Team in their job hiring thing, and they wanted like a mid-level 3D animator. And it also said like experience with Unreal is good and all this stuff. Oh, look at that! Holy shit, that's cool. I just go. Um, yeah, it said like experience with Unreal is is nice, uh, and like fully remote, four-day work week, and like no overtime or anything. And I was like, holy shit, this sounds great. But, um, they're in, like, the UK, so you have to fit that time yeah, zone. Yeah, must be British. Yeah, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay, I'm not working Quite through, like, fate. I'm not working through, like, three in the morning just to get that job. Well, hang on, didn't that one commenter call you British? So you must be. Yeah, sure. Um. <laughs> well, either you're yeah. British or you put on a fake accent, which is it? Because those are the only yeah. two options, there's nothing else. Uh, it's it's both. I'm I'm British and I have a fake uh, accent. Hasty asks, do you think the Sonic movie three will be at least decent? Well, look, no. If you enjoyed the other two, you'll think it's great. But for people like myself and Caitlin, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to change our minds. Um, no. It just seems to be more of the same thing. Really, it's going to be the same shit. It's going to be ugly Sonic is is a vlogger going like oh popsicles and then fucking Shadow just something goes ah blah blah blah. I have reason to believe that this will easily be the best out of the trilogy, and the characters will probably be the closest they are to the game ones in this. Simply because the guy who directed it is a big fan of Shadow the Hedgehog, and he's gonna do his darndest to make Shadow what he likes from Shadow. Now, executive yeah. meddling is still gonna get in the way. No matter what he wants, it's not gonna matter. He, he could want to just recreate Sonic Adventure 2, for all we know. 
and the company would say, no, you have to have the wedding scene. You have to have <laughs> another one. The, you, you have, have another have, wedding scene. Yeah, you have to have another wedding. Tom's getting married this time. He's getting married to uh, what's his face, the other cop, uh, Wade. <laughs> Wade. <laughs> he was already fucking Tom, married. Tom and Tom and Wade are getting married Trouble to each other. Trouble in paradise. No, They're getting married to each other. It's what's it called? A polycule? There we go. They're all all of them are getting married together. Um, and that's gotta happen in the middle of the movie. All the while, Shadow, this is when it cuts to Maria getting blasted with a blunderbuss in the arc, so. Yeah. Blunderbuss, you ass. <laughs> ah! you just oh my goodness. Drop something? Um, um, yeah, drop my water bottle cap. I'm trying to clean it real quick. Get all that hard water off of there. Sonic is Sonic? Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, disagreeing with that in this video, too. Um, no. Nope. I've got Sonic a point about how, okay, if Sonic is Sonic, then why didn't we like the movie design? The original mm. one, you should say. Yeah, the, the original, you know, pre- Is everybody in here like, but, 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 the new one's good, it's for the guys, you have to be appreciative, they changed it. Yeah, it still looks like shit, too. Because that original movie design is awful, but... You can look at it, and you can still tell that's supposed to, supposed to be Sonic. Even if it doesn't really look like him, you can tell, oh, that is meant to be Sonic. Um, so, if Sonic is Sonic, then how come that one's not Sonic? It's almost as if maybe Sonic does actually have some unique traits in his design and, like, you know, gameplay and everything that makes Sonic unique, and the further we stray from that, more and more people are gonna go, oh, that's not really Sonic, is it? Hence my point being that I'd, I don't think a lot of the 3D Sonic games are really Sonic games. Well, they certainly don't play like Sonic games. I love the bubble shield. And they never brought it back in 3D, either. <laughs> Fringe. Can I do the cool... Oh, no, I missed it. You gotta do the cool little, like, jump off the thing and, yeah. If you do it quick enough, you can, like, grab the fire shield and then flame dash over to the platform on the side there and do it all in one go. <clears throat> Am I Sonic? We yeah, sure. Start talking. Sonic started talking yesterday. Well, I forgot about this interactive part. I still That's think a good of rings. this is a <laughs> this is a point I'll I might still try to make in the script if I can fit it as well. Of like, you know, I don't like all the excessive automation that we got in the um, the later three D games, but I still that doesn't mean that I think some of like the set piece stuff introduced in like this game are like great as well like that original angel island bombing bit is a bit boring um in the original game um it just kind of you know you just kind of sit there and wait for a bit and it's like cool for the storytelling but uh, gameplay it's a bit boring and i and same with like the snowboarding and ice cap like uh, yeah it's cool but you know it might have been more impressive like back when it came out not really anymore I should be able to get the other emeralds just in this zone, but sometimes I miss one or two other rings. What do you think life will be like when one third of Sonic fans have only seen the movies and that's all they know? <clears throat> that will be a little sad, but also it's not really their fault. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not like mad at those people. It is just unfortunate, though, that that will eventually be the the state of Sonic fan, you know, discourse shit. Oh shit, that was not what I wanted to do. I keep forgetting I don't have the drop dash. I miss it. Can I def okay, I can deflect the projectiles, yeah, cool. I think that was supposed to be in the original game, but it wasn't, so it's in, like, these, uh... fan-updated insta-shields and stuff. 
Can I, like, no? Okay. What if I quickly, oh, there we go. See, that's what annoys me with the bounce attack in, um, oh fuck, ah, in um, Sonic Adventure 2, is that if you bounce off an enemy, you don't actually, like, gain extra height. Um, I don't know why they would make it like that. Like the whole fun of the bounce is like, I'm, let me bounce off an item box or bounce off an enemy and then I bounce even higher. Um, but if you try that in Adventure 2, you just, you bounce like lower. It just like completely ruins the point of the move. <clears throat> I don't hate Sonic Adventure 2. I just think it, uh, it didn't evolve the formula in a very... Well, I don't think it really evolved it at all. It kind of made it worse. Ted, I think that um, King Kong game should be the new formula for Sonic. The one that I you mean, played. I mean, honestly, it was very similar to Frontiers. You have an open world. You gotta run around and power up. Your Kong, your monkey, your Sonic. I think it. I think it would fit. That's what I'm saying, Oswald. Yeah, I didn't hear Sonic as Sonic when that first movie design was shown off. That's what I mean. Like, how come, <laughs> how come some, you know, some things? No, you're not allowed to criticize that. Sonic is Sonic. It's it's all fine. Everything completely different to what Sonic actually is is fine. But then the movie Sonic design, we're like, oh no, that that one's bad. Like why? Well, people complain about classic Sonic stuff. Like, yeah. Like... Oh, how dare the the like. Project Hero developers change their fan game that they're making on their own for free. How dare they change that to be the classic Sonic art style in a game about like momentum, you know, platforming. Like, oh, I, I wonder why they... Don't say that slur. <laughs> oh, sorry. I wonder why they maybe wanted to change it to, you know, maybe more stylistically fit with the, the type of Sonic game they're adapting anyway. You're just a hater. Yeah, I am. A big bully. I really wish I had the drop dash. I think I need like one more achievement and then it unlocks. Shit. I don't really like these parts either in this level. You're just kind of waiting around a little bit for these platforms. Um, actually that's kind of boring. I should be running like 24-7. <laughs> like this, yeah. Oh shit, no, tried to shield off those, didn't work. Is it all the loops in this game actually that have that slightly different shape where it's like kind of weird? You can't like roll off them in the same way you could in like Sonic 1 and 2. Like if you go in, run into the loop and then hit down at a certain point, Sonic kind of awkwardly like, uh, like bounces off the loop and doesn't actually gain, uh, gain speed. It's interesting, <laughs> just like looking at this again now and remembering like that Hydro City diorama I made because I'm looking at all the stuff in the background like, oh yeah, I had to model all of that. Um, I don't know, it came out looking okay. Whoops, no, 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 go back. No, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, um, came out looking all right, but I think I could do better if I had made it again now. Did you just say Hydro City? Uh, did you know sure it's Hydrocity? Because I have a dent in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> your, your brain is bent sideways when you were born, unfortunately. I have, a, I have, a, I have a, a benticity in my oh, in my brain. It's called a, a skull issue, I believe, is what the kids are calling it. Yeah. Eli that says you do come off. Eli says you do come off that you're better than everyone else, though, and that your opinion is right. I wonder how many more times Caleb has to say my opinion, my opinion, my yeah, opinion. Yeah, I don't know how many these, times these I need to clarify that. this, like. It's because you, when you, it's not just that, what they're going to say and what is very common is because, especially for someone like you who's Australian who has a bit of a sailor mouth, a bit of a potty mouth, as you will, it makes it seem like you're being hostile and aggressive even if you're not to people who may not understand otherwise. Yeah, That's okay, America. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which is like, it's because, it's because you're well spoken. Well, that I don't, I don't think a lot of people understand, especially for like a, a video essay format, is that, you know, it's an essay, it has an authoritative 
persuasive tone. That's how these things are written. Mm-hmm. You know, that's that's how all like reviews. That's, and, yeah, you're supposed to write it like that. Yeah, like you're you're presenting your opinion. You don't need to clarify every single thing you say with. <laughs> In my opinion, this oh, and it's it's okay if you disagree, guys. Like it, that should just be part of yeah. that. You should know That's that reading it, you know. Yeah, like yeah. It, it's your video. Like no, not everything you say is your opinion. Like, yeah, otherwise it's hard to understand. Just it's a, I just that that's the problem with with the, with with the current day people is like you have to constantly say over and over again my opinion my opinion my opinion it's like no shit that's my opinion because guess who's saying it me out of eight billion people of course me. it's my opinion you know the only let, let me tell you let me show you the difference between subjectivity and objectivity <laughs> subjectively uh, or ob- objectively Sonic is blue subjectively I like that Sonic is blue so yeah it's that's like, it there's all 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 he's doing is just stating his oh he doesn't like your tone. What do you mean? I just think that Sonic is really cool. <laughs> is that better? <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> Caleb has to go, Hi, guys! It's me, Telekinetic Man! And if you have feelings, that's okay! Like, it, what, what other tone is he supposed to say? <laughs> also, Watch like, I don't know. I, I find there's a lot of, uh, to be honest, in my experience, it's the positive Sonic fans that are the far more hostile. Like, they're the ones who are like, yeah, guys, we just want to be positive, love Sonic. But then they're the ones who are like, fuck you, you didn't like Sonic. And, you know, like, <laughs> fucking coming after you on Twitter and shit. Like, I, I'm not, I don't do that. You know, like, I'll, I'll disagree with whatever opinion I'm, like, referring to. Um, you know, like, Sonic is Sonic and stuff, as an example, like we were talking about. Like, yeah, I'm disagreeing with that. But, like, I, I'm not, like, going after anyone, you know? Also, I would like to say I I can understand that that's what people some people may take that off as but you it is an issue that is inherent in a lot of people it's not just a a one off thing a lot of people seem to have this issue where <clears throat> if someone is talking about a product in a way that they don't like they take it personally and this yeah. is something that I want everyone to really think about because it's a, it's a good question is that if someone says they don't like a product and that makes you mad. Why does that make you mad? That someone else mm-hmm. doesn't like a product. It's a thing. Yeah, well, it's not that they don't like you. They don't like a product. You've been duped by advertisers to go to bat for companies because it's easier than paying for advertisements. Yeah. Don't follow for yeah. the crap. Don't be their PR. If you like things, obviously speak up about what you like. But just mm-hmm. in turn, people are allowed to say they don't like it as well. It is a product. It is meant to be bought and consumed. If you don't like his Boy's tone, happy. I'm sorry, but like, sorry, he he has a tone about it because he's upset with what he's been given. Yeah, and even then, his tone isn't like just like your your tone isn't like you're screaming or mad. You're like, you know, this sucks. It just sucks that it has to be this way. It's uh, I would like to see something better, and it's unfortunate that we don't get it. That's yeah, like I'm not, here. I'm not, I'm not like the fucking the, the um, I forget their name. The people that do that fucking every frame of pause podcast shit, those fucking freaks, like Mauler and shit. I'm not like, I'm not those people. And they're also the people that believe objectivity exists in art and shit. I'm not fucking those psychos um, who just like sit around and get like ridiculously mad over pointless bullshit for no reason. I just, you know, I offer my opinions. There's my cat on my desk on that you can see her. Um, I offer my opinions and I, I say how I feel, but you know, I don't I don't try to go after anyone and I just, I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, uh, Caitlin's criticisms comes from a place of love. Yeah. Accepting mediocrity is just showing that you actually don't love the thing that you love. Like, you, I don't know, it's just, I, 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 like I'm with Caitlin, like, I don't want these things to be bad. I want to enjoy things. Look at Superstars. I was hyped up till zero hour and it disappointed. What am I supposed to do? Fucking just go, like, oh, it's okay, guys. Like, you know, we got plenty of Sonic One content to, like, to consume. You no, know, like, no. Like, just... Also, I, I realized that when I tried to do my stupid voice, yeah. like, I, I had a long voiceover session yesterday where I had to yell, so I, I can't do those voices right now. My, my lymph node is uh, sore. There's no act result, like, skip thing is really cool. I like it. I will actually say Sonic Three Knuckles is my favorite game of all time, but I actually am not super crazy about Marble Garden Zone. Like I'll, I'll nah. play it; it's fine. Yeah, like I, I don't like. I think Sonic Three is a game where the more I look at it in detail, there are things that I notice where I'm like, "Yeah, I don't really like that," or I'll change that. But like as a whole, I think it's like a greater than the sum of its parts kind of thing. It just uh, brings everything together really well. 
and it's very, very replayable, especially with all the different characters and stuff. I really enjoy like doing Knuckles playthrough and stuff. Do I have the MJ soundtrack on? Um, I yeah, I should have the original music. This is not Sonic Origins. This is um, uh, Sonic Three. Yeah. You can change them though in this. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I actually, uh, you know, this is, I'm someone who played this game like when it came out, so I have every right to say this. Um, I've actually found that I like ah, uh, Carnival Night and Launch Base Beta better than the finals. Like, but they got to be like the well put together ones, like in Sonic yeah, not Air, the, like not the shitty yeah. Origins ones. Origins is such love, a disappointment. I do also <laughs> love uh, Beta Ice Cap, but you can't beat Hard Times. It's just that's that's not happening. <laughs> Yeah, I love this, like, yeah, the thing I'm going to talk about in the video is, like, Sonic Adventure, you know, they got the spin dash jump right. They got that. But otherwise, like, Sonic's movement's kind of not there. You know, you can't bounce off enemies properly, the homing attack kills all your speed. Um, like, just all this shit just breaks Sonic's flow all the time. Jumping off springs, like, you lose all your speed. Um, everything's very guided, very linear. The levels don't really have these layered paths anymore. It's like, yeah, okay, maybe you can turn a corner and find an item box, but that's it. Like, there's not really much going on um, outside of that. You're just kind of following the path. And that's not, like, inherently bad, but as an adaptation of Sonic, I don't think it's very good. Oh, shit, I need... Oh, wait, no, I don't. I always... Yeah, I always do that, too. Oh. Maybe didn't Sonic 3 Air they changed? Maybe it? they maybe they changed that. Maybe they got rid of some of the yeah um, the things you need to break with the uh, humming top thing. And that's that's kind of another thing where I'm like, oh, I just I hope I don't like misremember too much about the actual Sonic 3 when I get so used to this version. Yeah, I I I like playing 3 Air just when I just don't feel like setting up the genesis and stuff Oops. you know like it's fine to just pop it in and play it like just from the pc in between animating or something but when i sit down and play this i prefer to play it on the cartridges just because that's just the way i like to play them especially because um once uh you know oh. now the taxes have been paid i'm gonna finally have some uh net income i'm thinking about if i see like a crt sometime that's not too expensive i might Shit. get one and set up a little retro corner or something yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that myself one day, having a CRT again for like old stuff, but I don't really have a lot of old things anyway. Like I have some, like I have a Mega Drive with all these games on them, but I'd rather, I think I'd just rather play them like this. I mean, it'd be nice to have the authentic, like kind of the scan line scanline effect, yeah. yeah, but um, it's just a pain to... I, I mean, for me, yeah, I have Genesis, Super Nintendo, I have the original Xbox, I have a Wii with GameCube stuff, so like, uh, the, and the Dreamcast. And I, I, I was kind of skeptical about CRT stuff, but then a few weeks back, uh, me, well, months now, me, Sasso, and uh, KN Shit. from Sonic Zone 1 2 we all went to the Sonic Cafe to check it out. And across the way is a retro game store, and they had uh, Sonic 3 on a CRT, and I played it on the CRT, and I'm like, oh, shit, I really oh. want a CRT now. <laughs> Does the Insta Shield not actually work on, what the fuck, um, not actually work on the bubbles properly? I thought, I thought you could, um, hit them through the spikes, but maybe they're just invulnerable when they're spiked. Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. I, every time I've tried, it never worked. You can probably, like, avoid taking the damage, but, um, yeah, I don't think it, it hits them. That sucks. Annoying. You can do it in it's Origins. It's sad about Origins. Okay. It's sad about Origins, because had Sega not been Sega, um... They, they could have actually been the definitive way to play these games, but they, mm. of course, screwed it up. So. Mm -hmm. Who could have seen that coming? Could have been easy money, but they <laughs> fucked it up somehow. I, I can't I'll believe never it. Forget. I, I, had oh, a, I had Origins pre-ordered, and then, like, what, two days before it came out, I heard the uh, Sonic 3 Super Sonic music, and I went, yeah, no, oh, uh, uh, mm -mm, no, I turned it off. Yeah. Really. I, I canceled my pre-order, didn't buy it. Sorry, I just, I, I I don't buy games and like unless, like, I'm sure I'm going to enjoy them in... You get, a, you get a stinker once in a while, like Superstars, but like I'm pretty stingy ah. with buying games. Yeah, I, I regret that I bought it and like paid money for it and whatever, but I, I think even when I got it, it was... Because at the time, it was like, okay, how could they possibly fuck this up, right? Like, it's it's the 
you know, they've got um, Stealth working on it. This should be in good hands. Um, and I did get it at a discount off, I think, Game Billet. Um, and so I was like, look, if it ends up being bad, I don't know, you know, I can do a video on it anyway, it's fine, it's a work expense thing. But yeah, I still, it's, that is the only exception to my, like, I have not bought any Sonic stuff, any bad Sonic shit recently. That's like the only thing I've unfortunately broken that rule on, because I haven't, you know, oh no, okay, I saw Sonic 2 in cinemas. But again, that was like, well, it came out a week early over here compared to everywhere else. Um, and to be fair, you had people telling you it was better. You yeah, had reason to believe that it might have been was, worth it. Yeah, if it if I knew it was going to be just the same shit again, like as bad, then I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have seen it. You had it's like it would be better. Yeah. Same thing with Frontiers. All these like Sonic uh, mutuals of mine who I really oh, used to respect, they're all like, dude, Frontiers like. Like, like, they all got it early, and they're like, oh, like, dude, like, I cried, and it was amazing, and I'm like, holy shit, is this might, there might be something here, and then I saw the game for myself, I'm like, uh, never mind. Did they get, like, a cool, Listen. like, press version that was better or something? I want to say, I'm a, I, I like to think of myself as a, as a pacifist, as a pretty laid-back person. I don't like to get mad. But Sonic Frontiers, I was at Steve's place, and I was playing the update, trying to unlock the, new, the way to play the game better with the spin dash. And I, 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 I was half sloshed. I, you know, Uncle Ted had some alcohol in his breath. I had a, a Guinness in my hand, and I cracked open a second one, and I cussed in front of my good friend Kim. Yep. I feel so bad he about actually, it. Actually, you guys know Ted doesn't curse, and he just got after all that bullshit with the spin dash. He just gets up and goes, "I gotta take a piss," and we were like, oh. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, even hearing well, him also, scream in Discord, I've never heard him so mad over it. What the fuck? It, what? It's Why so the bad. super thing It's heart-wrenchingly bad. Oh. Just, uh, I actually- okay, I guess- like, Sorry, I guess just the super transform no button is the same as, like, the cutscene fast-forward button? And uh, it, like, didn't, like, activate the super transformation properly? That's annoying. I, I will say it was funny though that one of the very first thing that happened is I did get I completed a mission <laughs> on and, so, and you the died. lava <laughs> island and I accidentally saw because Sonic super glues to the floor I accidentally went right into the lava mm -hmm. and it said happy birthday Sonic and it didn't <laughs> that save was so I had to do the mission so again. So fucking funny. Yeah, because uh, Sonic uh, Sonic was running and they just vroom, like just face like first directly into the lava and then fade to black. Happy birthday, Sonic! And then like back in the um back at like the starting thing, didn't save any progress. Do it again. And that was like holy shit. Very funny. That was when I got the beer out, because I was like, I can't take this anymore. Uh, and Yuji says, wait, piss is a curse? Okay, no, in, in, in the world of Ted, it is, uh, Nuji, we play Hell Divers too, and he calls it Heck Divers. <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's perfectly capable of swearing, but, but it's part of his, his little, his uh, role clown play. act. <laughs> yeah, his yeah. role play. I've, I've been math acting for a while now. Math acting! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, uh, no, I mean, like, you know, the thing is, though, is that Ted may not swear, but when he does, it, it, it impacts you. Where me, I'm well, just a dirty say, Dago. Man. I'm just a dirty Dago, so I, every, every, I use fuck as a comma. So. Hmm. If I ever have to cuss, it'll actually mean something. I actually had a voiceover session yesterday where uh, the director basically wanted me to do a, a merge between Silvio and Tony Soprano, and it was so hard not to swear. Like and then and then, yeah, fall, and then like what was it like a week or two ago? Rihanna's parents were here, and my and Rihanna's like, dude, what are you doing your Antonio Soprano impression? I'm like, oh, your parents are here. I'm not swearing in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Didn't even want to go that way. Whatever. I thought you said hack divers because he's an atheist. <laughs> I'm an atheist, and I say I say goddamn. So who cares? Hey, Ted won't even Texas. say God. He'll say gosh. Yeah, he says gosh. Yeah. Like our gosh is an awesome gosh. He does rain from heaven above, Steve. Come on, we all. We're gonna bring that back when we song. when we get back to playing Sea of Thieves when the new uh, update comes out. Oh, so. the Jesus song. <laughs> I've got that, that recorded great. somewhere. I think. <laughs> I think it's one of like hour-long compilations. Maybe I don't know, or it, it might still just be sitting on my uh, 
drive somewhere. I've got so much Sea of Thieves footage. What the fuck? I do Don't not remember that really platform. Nice yeah, sorry. Sea of really nice people. Because if you if you act like a pirate in the pirate game, you're, you're in big trouble. Oh. Have you talked about the Worm Fairy update on the stream yet? Like, on any of these streams? I think I have a bit, yeah. Because I can't wait for that. I need season 14 in my veins. I, I, I can't wait to... Have it. I can't wait to play with all the PlayStation people. That's going to be <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> but, you know, you guys have to realize what I thought of with that torpedo idea. It's brilliant! You get one of those wind bags, you put a bomb on a, a oh, robot, right. and then you send it into a ship like a torpedo. <laughs> it's beautiful! Oh my... <laughs> Yeah, I, I do want to do that. <laughs> uh, Fire the torpedoes! You can, oh God, you can push them with the, with the little windbag? Yeah, you can use the windbag to make the rowboats into a speedboat, yes. Well, I thought so you had to be drive up alongside. Yeah, so you, you put someone on the boat, suicide torpedo. <laughs> oh, God. Gotcha. Fly them over, fly them over, uh, and then, you know, oh, blow shit. it up. If they can't, if they don't catch you, you could use it like a torpedo. I I want to try that so badly. I think it'll. Work. Yeah, I'm really curious what the limits are of that shit. I also don't know how you get the the windbag item thing. Like I don't know where you get it from. It's probably like probably a rare. Like, to get it. Yeah, like with the the watch call, it's the sticks that you can find that the mermaids have. Right. Yeah. The Disney stick. I'm assuming certain them. enemies will drop them. Yeah. This boss was so fucked in Origins. I remember I got here and it was like actually giving me trouble and I was like, what the fuck? Like this this shit is, should be easy. It's because it was Monday. it was just Wait, what, bugged. What was it different? Uh, it How took it like different? double hits then for no reason and like the little bouncing oh. thing would like crush you and shit. Um, and just like the, the physics were being weird. I think like sometimes I'd hit the, the boss to like activate it so that it'll take damage from the spike thing. Um, and it just like... Uh, it made me take damage, I think. Like, it was, it was all sorts of, like, weird shit. Like, Knuckles' uh, Mechasonic boss had a similar problem as well, where um, he would just take damage from hitting the boss. Like, you just couldn't hit Mechasonic without Knuckles taking damage. Um, no idea why. It was just, just fucked because of the Sonic <laughs> Origins. Yeah. Windbag is an insult, by the way. It's a good one. <laughs> Yeah, windbag is basically an insult used for someone who like, talks too much. A blowhard. Yoink. How yeah, I, like... weird. Apparently there's only one person watching the stream right now, Caitlin. Everyone else what? is left. <laughs> what do you mean? YouTube oh, That's what it says. Cool. It's... cool. Yeah, everyone quit. Even though there's more people talking in the chat, there's no one here. <laughs> They're all in your head. We're in your head too, actually, because we can't be watching either. That's true. So I just, I really think the adventure formula as well would have benefited from like, if they actually brought back the elemental shields properly, like had not just the lightning shield, but all of them, um, and yeah. let Sonic actually use their abilities <laughs> properly, even. you'd have a lot more reason to actually explore the levels uh, and find that shit because they have utility. Whereas like, the lightning shield in Sonic Adventure is like, yeah, cool, it gives you rings, but it doesn't really do anything else. So why would you need to use it? Whereas, like, these shields are fucking cool, because you can, like, bounce off the slopes and, like, gain some height and distance with them. Or you can use the fire shield to dash, and, you know, electric shield to double jump. But they just got rid of all of that and never brought it back. Never understand why. Knock knock. I'm afraid to inform you, a second person has watched the stream. <gasps> I'm really scared. It could be anyone. <laughs> a, se a second viewer has hit the stream, Caleb. <laughs> it's me, hello. <laughs> yeah, are we being oh, shot like free bird right now? <laughs> yeah! Free bird. <laughs> I mean, it could have been anyone, That's guys. A good song. I don't know what the problem is. That's all. Who would we know who could possibly be free? <laughs> I don't know. 
Are there any are there any Discord members or like you know Discord uh, server people here who remember the Freebird incident? Is anyone incident. there for that? Uh, I do. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I mean, do. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed like a nice guy. I think you guys are being pretty harsh to that Freebird fellow. I think you should debate him. <laughs> I st I mean, look, I, I still don't know. Shot. I still don't know who he was. Like, I, I felt yeah, genuinely yeah. bad <laughs> thinking, like, oh, maybe it was just a guy. You know, just a normal no, fucking person. No, there's a very real I mean, possibility. No. They sure didn't leave I pretty quickly, though. <laughs> they sure didn't change the way they typed as soon as they were accused or anything. <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was a little, concept. a little, uh, a little suspicious. Uh, if you're out there, please, please come back. I would like to talk to you. Like, actually, yeah, if you're, hey, listen, I, I free bird, if you're doing, hello, it, that's all. If you're doing social listening, you should do some more social <laughs> listening in Caitlin's server. Come on, free bird, let us know where you are. Come on, just be a man, be a man. <laughs> We're talking about the movie Free Willy, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. starring starring me. Starring Free. <laughs> For anyone unfamiliar, uh, after I released on the record now. Yeah, after I released my uh, Sonic 2021 critique video, I talked about a bunch of stuff, including a certain. Uh, voice potluck. actor, um, yeah, a certain microphone potluck. Um, someone joined the Discord, and their name was Freebird, and their profile picture was like this really old-looking guy, and he looked—I don't know—he kind of looked like, like a classic like film actor or something. You know, the kind of thing that maybe like an old person might know that young people wouldn't be very familiar with. I um, I thought it was like some politician or something. May, I don't know, it was just like an old guy in a suit was the profile picture. It was like a headshot that a politician yeah. or a lawyer would have yeah, that yeah, you'd yeah. see on a website. It was very professional. Yeah, and so I thought maybe it was like an old actor or something. I don't know. Um, and yeah, his name was Freebird, you know, just like capital F, capital B, like two separate words. Um, and he joined the server and said, like, how much he appreciated the section about uh, this certain voice actor and how much he just, like, really wanted to have everyone keep talking about it and stuff. Um, oh, fuck you. Go super. What the fuck? There we go. Um, and I was immediately suspicious of just, like, this guy joins he, just his, I don't know, something about his, like, Profile, uh, just like seems a little weird. Um, and then he, the first thing he talks about is is this thing and like nothing else. Um, and yeah, I was just a bit like, huh, oh, th this feels off. And I like messaged a few people, just like, hey, like, you know, look in the server. Like, what do you think of this guy? Do you think this is weird? Um, and then someone who was in that section of the video, who had dealt with the actual voice actor in question before, was like, "I oh, don't worry, like I'll, I'll handle it. I'll, I'll mess. I'll respond to him in the server and see what he says." And so I was just kind of like, "All right, I mean, sure, if you want to do that." And then they immediately fucking just say to him, "Like, we know it's you, voice actor guy. <laughs> like, we know it's you. Stop hiding it." And I was like, "Holy shit! Oh my god! Like that? Like really?" Uh, really going for it um just like immediately uh and then he was like what no like that you know, that's, that's not me like i just i just wanted to say how much i like agreed with this part of the video or something um and so then i was in the middle of writing up a response just like hey man like oh it's all right like i'm, I'm sorry don't don't worry about it um but then <laughs> then he said like oh it's all right i can tell that like people feel suspicious about me or something so like i'll i'll just leave anyway um and like before i'd even finished typing my message I'm like wait no no you don't have to go like he was already gone um and i couldn't like dm him or anything to respond and then i was kind of like huh okay maybe it 
maybe it was him. I don't know. Like, because I just, I just had this impression that it was like him Listen, or a spy. A like, oh, it could be a complete coincidence. It, it probably was. It is very, it's very funny because yeah, up in the the uh, inciting incident ah. though is that Mike Pollock. Oh, what? I just said it, my bad. <laughs> Mike, I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, my, uh, Mr. Mr. Friendly Guy over there. Mr. Potluck. Yeah. Mr. Freebird. Mr. Potluck. Mr. Freebird has a very specific way of typing. Yes, that was oh, yeah, the... So that was yeah. Mike Mollick, my bad. He's, that got was the, the... he's got the mustache and glasses on. You're absolutely right. He's a type of fish. Yeah, great, great. Now you've saw. Now you've done it. Now he's going <laughs> to show up. It. I, he's going to send I, the MCA. Listen, I said, I said, Pike Moloch is a different guy. He's got glasses. Very clearly yeah, different. Okay. <laughs> um, they had a very specific way of typing, and I pay. I, like I, I've, I've got brain worms, so like I pay attention to things. And like, there are very specific ways that certain people type, and he was very formal yeah. up until he got called out for saying he even typed the same way, and then started typing differently immediately afterwards. Like, why would you do that unless you were trying to hide something? It just reeks of like, it was weird. Like, I made a mistake. Yeah, it was weird. If it was, suspicious. it also could be some. Yeah, it could literally just be someone who accidentally got in the wrong spot at the wrong time, got blamed for something, and felt bad and left. And if that's the case, I'm really sorry, Freebird. It was a huge misunderstanding. What the fuck? You can come back to Caleb's server. Well, what the? What the fuck is what this? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what? What in the ass crack? What oh. mod did I put on that did this? What the hell? Yeah. I was just following like Pariah's mod recommendations. I don't remember there being something that changed this boss fight. Well, that's um, weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I only hit him on the top now? There we go. Why is it taking so many hits? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. That was weird. <laughs> what? Um, well, that just happened. Yeah. <laughs> I, Dude, I, this is literally bonanas. I don't know what mod did that. Mike Pollock uh, updated your game real quick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I made sure Charles I put a uh, me mod. in it. <laughs> Freebird attack. Yeah, why, why does that bad? Why does that Eggman robot say Freebird on this? <laughs> 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 Yeah, you go to Wing Fortress Zone and it says like Freebird on the side or something. <laughs> flying battery. <laughs> Fly, bird flying Bird Zone. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm just from New York. We're all free over here to say whatever we like. We're all free birds. <laughs> like the pigeons of New York. I'm a very free bird. <laughs> Yeah, what do you call it when, like, like the horde of the white knights attack with them? Just, yeah, the bird that <laughs> <laughs> You flip the bird. Free the bird. Oh my god. <clears throat> yeah, if free bird came back, it would be great. I would love it if free bird came back, because it would, no matter what happens, it would confirm... I, my, like, I tried to DM him. I tried to send him a message, but I couldn't. Like, cause I can still can see still his, like, his profile, but... Can you um, still get to that Discord? Or did you, like, delete it? It's, no, it's it's my public Discord server. Like, it's still in there. You can look through the message logs and find him. Uh, mm -hmm. if one of you guys wants, you could go in there and just type Freebird and you could, like, read out the, yeah, take a look and see. the message that he wrote. Any more surprises? <laughs> no? This is normal. I'm trying to remember what's the what's the normal <laughs> mini boss in uh, Ice Cap? That little sno that fat snowman. Right, that, right, like, right. That little yeah. Barrier device. Yeah. What the fuck was that? That like <laughs> changed it. Owner. You know who would know, you know? Rob reminds me. You know who would know who Freebird is? Is his best friend Ron. <laughs> mm, yeah, he's asking. So true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna make. If I still include the aesthetic part in my video, and I still want to, I might just shorten it a bit. Um, I want to talk about how, like, I'm not going to complain about the change of music that Sonic Adventure brought, because I think Sonic Adventure has an amazing soundtrack, but it is still worth acknowledging that we lost 
the the classic music style as well. Like it never, it only comes back in like explicitly classic Sonic games now. Um, you know what I, and there's not a I lot of those, you know. It's just like Mania and Superstars. That's it. And even then, Superstars is fucking Sonic Four music. So I find it interesting that these Michael Jackson tracks are three in a row. It's it's Carnival Night, Ice yeah. Cap, and then this. And they sound very different from the rest of the soundtrack. So to me, in retrospect, they stick out like a sore thumb. But no. um, I still like all of them. Like I, I, you could go either or for me. I don't care. I mean, you know, like I play on my original cartridges, so it's like I can't take that away. Yeah, I just think like I, I love the musical direction that Sonic had in, in Adventure and, and Heroes 06 Unleashed Colors. I love all that stuff, but I would still like to see a 3D Sonic game that actually had the, the classic music style of the the new Jack Swing, the Jazz Fusion, the, the City Pop yeah. kind of funky sound again, instead of just like the rock um, and the orchestral stuff, which I, I really I was... love as well. Like, I'm not complaining. I just think it would be nice to have both instead of just one. Yeah. You know, I was in the car the other day and uh, some of Lost World soundtrack came on. What's the guy's name? Uh, uh, Tomoyo Toyota Otani. Pepperoni. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Uh, he, I just can't believe that he went from those bangers in Lost World yep. to the shit in Frontiers. I and just, forces, and, and forces. Yeah. I'm just like, dude, the, the, the Lost World, I don't like Lost World, but the soundtrack is really good. Yeah, I agree. Lost World's got great music. Yeah. But yeah, part of, the whole general thesis of the video is that, like, when Sonic went 3D, it, it left behind a lot of its classic foundation in gameplay and aesthetics. And the f I always get hit by that fucking guy. Um, and it never really, uh, never really got any of it back, even when they, like, I mean, Mania did, but it's like an explicitly classic Sonic game made by fans, and it's 2D. But, like, the 3D games never really, aside from, like, maybe Heroes, n even then, like, gameplay-wise, Heroes is not classic, but, like, visually it kind of is. Um, they never really got that style back, and it's not that the new style is bad, it's more so of like, but we lost what we already had, and, you know, just, yeah, never got to try it again. And like, why is that? Why can't we have the modern style stuff and the classic style stuff in 3D? Why do we have to have one or the other? And why can't yeah. modern be 2D as well? Like, why can't we yeah. have a bit of both? Yeah, why can't we have like a spiritual successor like Sonic Advance or Sonic Rush? I mean, I don't really care for Sonic Rush too much, but like, I, I would still like, yeah, like, why? You know, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm tired of like classic being slotted into 2D. I'm tired of modern being slotted into 3D. Like, let it should be. What is your inspiration for this individual game? Not yeah. to, how do we connect it to the old stuff all the time? Yeah, like uh, that. A game should be a game that stands out on its own. Like Sonic the Hedgehog can adapt to a, a lot of things, but they 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 also need to go back to, to the. I think they once. need yeah they need to go back to the foundation before they start doing all their crazy changes again like pick a solid base to begin from in 3D and then you can start experimenting a bit more rather than every game being this radical reinvention but also still having all the same problems where like the homing attack sucks in every Sonic game um, mm -hmm. like they keep all these mechanics but they keep the bad ones they never keep like the good ones I'm not saying the Sonic rough transition to 3D thing, even though, let's be honest, I don't, I don't think that's, I really don't think that should be a controversial thing to say. Like, I know it's a Sonic fan meme now, but like, let's be honest, guys, Sonic did kind of have a, yeah, a it's rough not transition. Yeah, wrong. Especially if we're counting not so much Sonic Adventure, but the road leading up to it with Sonic Extreme and stuff, you know, like the, it, it did take them a while to get something out. Well, it's also like, why even bother saying Sonic had a rough transition to 3D when it, it, it transitioned like 20 something years ago now? Like, it, we're long past that. Like, Sonic, Sonic 3D Sonic has its own identity, you know? Well, like, my, it, I, I'm kind of arguing the opposite. I'm kind of saying 3D Sonic doesn't have an identity. Its identity well, is I, just okay. copying other things and doing it badly. What I, what I mean is that it's, it's not like these games reflect the classics, so why bother saying right. they had a rough transition from the classics? Because they're not trying to be the classics. That's a problem, but it's not a transition. It's just they just they're doing whatever the fuck they want now, and yeah. they're ignoring the original Sonic games and why they were so brilliant. And that's my thing. It's like Sonic Adventure is clearly trying to be more like the classics, and it sort yeah. of gets there, but doesn't get quite enough. And then because of that, all the later all the later games build from that, and they suffer from it. Yeah, and it's a shame. 
I just want a 3D classic Sonic game. It doesn't even have to be like the art style or anything. I just want a game that feels fun to run around in a yeah, world that's and, all and, I and want. the world yeah, well, is not just a fucking big nothing world that's foggy and rainy all the time. I want Sonic Breeze, like not to be biased because I'm the voice of Sonic in that, but that's that's why I tried so hard. A well, lot you of wanted to be the Sonic voice, <laughs> but you wanted to be the voice in it because it looked so good, like it was a yeah, cool that's, project. I'm doing it for free. That's a free gig for me. I I, I couldn't. I I just wanted to be in it. Like I'm I'm I love the way that that's going. You know. Yeah, I, I, I really wish audition. I could play that game. Yeah, me too. So stupid that uh, apparently a lot of uh, dream developers were, are begging for Sony to let it be on PC as well. I mean, it'd be nice. I need to see if I can, like, hi, Misty, what's wrong? She's meowing at me, but I don't know what she's crying about. She's got cat brain. Yeah. Um, I need to see if I can enable the drop dash yet, like, if I've gotten enough achievements fuck, to uh, get the drop dash. So I think you need oh, no, three. Well, it. every achievement you get, it pops up, but I just haven't checked if I've like gotten enough yet. I don't know if it logs it in here or not. Don't think so. Uh, Raid wants to know, what's my advice on becoming a voice actor? Practice, practice, practice. Learn how to take criticism. 99% of your job is auditioning. You're not your rejection is a huge part of being a voice actor, so get used to it. Just you just just learn and build your strengths and then just get out there and audition for every little thing you find that you want to do. Oh, you can sit on Twitter all day. Yeah, you can all if you're a, if you're a girl, great news, uh, flash your chest, you can be oh, a voice actor instantly. <laughs> That's not. <laughs> That's not... <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm not lying though. Where's where's the lie? They hated me for being right. Steve. <laughs> oh, no, I know. If you want to be a voice actor real quick, if you want to cheat, just uh, do uh, a famous impression of a cartoon character doing something mundane. Have Plankton funny. talking to Alexa or, or or Bowser, like, uh, like going grocery shopping or something. And then you and then a million people go, I know what that is. And then you get a bunch of followers. Oh, and then no, you'll no. get picked over actual actors for having a big account. Okay. Exactly, and also make sure you put VA game. in your nickname. Yeah, yes. So, if, uh, if you don't know. put V, if you don't put VA in your username, then then you're not a real voice actor. Okay. Sorry. Especially if you do it in VR, that'll really help you. <laughs> yeah, go into VR chat and uh, and uh, look for look for kids. I'm sure kids will love you. <laughs> Sit, sit, sit in the Sonic world all day going, dude, I kind of like sound like, like uh, Roger. Uh, that uh, would uh, never happen in the Sonic VR chat worlds. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> are, are you yeah, it's only wholesome yeah, okay. chungus. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's only wholesome chungo, chungus in the Apoto's world where we've caught like 10 uh, critters, you know? That's <laughs> uh, <laughs> VR, VR chat in general, though. <laughs> where, where we were hiding as Chow under the bridge listening to um, very inappropriate uh, conversations. <laughs> <laughs> These things uh, dude, I just did like, not I happen. just like sound like Roger. Or that one guy's like, like I don't know, guys. Everyone says I sound oh like Jason God. Griffin. And I'm like, I, I, Jason Griffin, huh? That dude who was like, <laughs> guys, I, oh, I just cried on command. Wow, that's like so wow, crazy. Wow, a basic thing that every like, actor no, on the fucking planet. Like no live. one's even like listening. No one cares. Yeah, they can cry on command too. <laughs> yeah, I just have to think of, of the. I just had to think of uh, the world. I can cry very easy. Yeah, all you gotta do is just think of the average person's life, and there you go. You can start crying. It's true. Yeah, I forget which other <laughs> achievements uh, I can easily Jason get. Griffin. To get. I the love Jason there. Griffin. He's my he just goes, hey, <laughs> Lois, I bought us a horse. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, actually, this is that. one of the achievements, I think, to get to the top of this. Yeah, the J the Jason Griffith laugh from 06, that is very, very <laughs> good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. I think that's three now that I have, so I should be uh, able to... You were asked, Caleb. Oh, Secret Unlock, there we go. There meow, is. meow, what do you think of Mario's oh, new voice? Oh, game? I don't like it. <laughs> It's terrible. I'm sorry. It actually kind of sorry. made me like, wonder a little less. I'm not gonna lie. 
Oh, you know, I, I actually, I, I really liked, uh, I really wanted to like Wonder, but I, I, it's okay. Like, I just see it as like a new Super Mario. Yeah, Brothers it's, it's all right. I wasn't like crazy about it. Yeah. I thought Wonder was pretty good. I still think three in World are the best. Uh, I'm asked, Alejandro, uh, ah. what is my opinion on Sonic Unleashed? Uh, my opinion on Sonic Unleashed is what Kay how Kalen puts it is the best Sonic game I don't want to play. <laughs> Yeah. I, 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 Looks I, nice, I, I sounds really nice. Like, Not fun to play. Yeah, it has the best art style of any 3D Sonic game. It's got like amazing music. I, I like the story. Um, the Japanese voice acting is great, but as a game, I just it don't I don't jive with it. So you know, it's it's not a bad game by the by any stretch. It's just not for me. Someone asked what was the my reaction or... when Roger returned. Uh, not a good one. Um, it was more of just we like, a, are you kidding me? Like, really? I thought you, he was like gone, but now he's just back yeah. anyway. All right, that's nice. Um, I was so optimistic when I heard that, dude. I was yeah. like, oh man, they're gonna do some major changes at Sega. What the yeah, heck? Yeah, go and back and just... listen to the end of my Sonic 2021 video where I sound really optimistic about like, wow, you know, <laughs> we've, we've got like Ian Flynn coming on the right, and like Roger's not gonna be Sonic anymore, and all this stuff, and like maybe like this next new game is gonna be really good, and then like flash forward a few years, no, that did not happen. Yep. I Roger was begged to come back by Sega, and, yeah. and well, I, he's here. I just hate he's trying to act like he never like said he left, <laughs> even no, though he made I, a big announcement on Twitter. About a it. friend, a friend of mine was at a convention and overheard him. Uh, and this friend is literally not allowed to lie. Like he, they are, they are like one of the most trustworthy, loving people I know. They would not lie. They said that they overheard Roger say that he left because he was a little disgruntled that. He wasn't in the movie, he wasn't in Sonic Prime, so he just figured he'd left and Sega begged for him to come back. So we're stuck with him. Sega wants this guy as Sonic. And you know what? That's fine, it's their property, but I'm gonna I'm glad about they're going the for time. consistency now, but like why <laughs> why would they them? get a consistently good guy? Yeah. 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 Could you have been consistent before when we had good good guys? Yeah, yeah that would have been better. In the two thousands, perhaps. Yeah. And then maybe all the people who worked on Unleashed, who later went on to work on Odyssey instead, mm. because they were good and knew what they were doing. Unleashed is you still, know, like, obviously it's got its issues, but the world design was immaculate. Like, it looked yeah. great. The art direction is incredible. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say, you know, as long as they continue to let me switch the Japanese voices, fine, whatever. I mean, like, I, I'm... I know that I'm known as being the guy that wants Ryan Drummond back. I still do, but I'm kind of given up. I, I don't think it's ever going to happen. I don't think it'll personally. happen. Yeah. Sad, but it is what it is. What the fuck? Oh, and yeah, let me... Oh, let, let, let's state that we don't hate Roger Craig Smith. We just don't care for him as well. What is this music? Song. Wait, what? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Listen to it. What the... Oh, that's the fucking Sega... That's the Sega Tunes version. Yeah, I remember this one. I didn't tell it to hell? use that. Uh, you can't do that too much, yeah. no? I do not remember this being a mod that I... I <laughs> where did this come from? What other mod did you add to this game? I got yeah, a bunch, I just got like all the little fixes ones that Pariah recommended. Well, they're ruining Mushroom Hill Zone, it's my favorite zone. What? Yeah. I don't even know what's causing that. Where would I change what? it? It must be in like a mod options thing somewhere? Uh, Alberto, do I think that Roger and Jason's Sonic voices will be fine on their own? They're just not coming out of Sonic's mouth? I mean, I guess, but to me, the Jason Sonic voice is just this really goofy Barney kind of thing, and Roger's, like, trying to sell me Cocoa Puffs. Like, it's just... It, I, I like natural voice acting, and, uh, for me, Roger and Jason don't do it. They're very artificial. Like, they don't, they don't sound how people sound, if that makes any sense to anybody. To me. Like, in my ears, my ears process them as, uh... Oh, Mushroom uh, Hills are in start. That's why area. Roger's better. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Yeah, right. Roger has got to be <laughs> at his worst in Frontiers. Like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Roger is awful. true. I don't, I don't like him in an old man. <laughs> like <Sonic. laughs> he's, It's very yeah. interesting with Roger because it's just he's gotten worse as time goes on. Like, it's not he hasn't improved. It's actually gotten worse. Like, I'm thoroughly convinced that they played Sonic Zombie clips for him before his current, like, <laughs> his current, like, takes. <laughs> 
Yeah, and let's not even, dude, the Frontiers take, like, look, again, I have to emphasize, I have no issue with Roger Craig Smith as, like, a human being or a person, or even as an actor. I just, I think that personally he's, like, not sorry. He's miscast. Like, he's greatly, he's greatly miscast. Like, he, he's he's a very successful voice actor. If you have to say that it's, you're just jealous, you're right. I am jealous. He's living the dream. He earned his keep as a voice actor, and that is, he is so, like, lucky that that's his job. I shouldn't even say lucky. He's fortunate that he's that he has the talent to do that. But I am a Sonic the Hedgehog fan, and I am very particular with how Sonic is. And to me, when I hear Roger coming out of Sonic, I, it's not Sonic anymore. It's a hollowed husk of a creature that looks like Sonic. So, with that being said, yeah, the Frontiers take is Sonic has never sounded worse. Like I'd take this fucking Sonic in the Magic School Bus or whatever the fuck it was called. Uh, oh, Sonic Schoolhouse. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I would take that voice <laughs> for Roger. <laughs> and, 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 and you know what? It's not even just Roger. I think that uh, Eggman sucks. Amy sucks. Like, I don't, I didn't like no, Knuckles. Is just good. a guy they just found on Twitter. Like, yeah. I, the entire voice cast, in my opinion, has to go. I think Colleen's fine, but I still prefer Kate Higgins. Yeah, you can keep Colleen. She's good. But yeah, Kate Higgins, I like yeah. her a lot more. Yeah, Kate Higgins. I I remember when they when Sonic Stadium got the exclusive first cutscene of Sonic Colors, and and I heard uh, Kate Higgins for the first time before I heard Roger. I'm like, wow, Kate sounds incredible. I can't wait to hear Roger. Oh no. <laughs> I remember being uh, really mad when I first heard that clip as a kid. Yeah. I uh, did a little shopping, uh, grabbed a bite to eat, oh, and uh, I ran somebody over with my Hummer. Like that's just, I, I hate that <clears throat> voice. But then, but then now with Frontiers, it's it's like the opposite. Like through like Lost World and Boomy, it's like he was like this kind of like uh, jerk off, you know? Hey guys, uh, you know, like I, I drink Starbucks, uh, but but now he's like like this really deep. Like, are you really gonna let them do this? You gonna really let them skip you in line at Starbucks? Oh, like I, 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 I don't know what they were fucking thinking. Like, and obviously, even Roger, I think there's that video where he was like, oh, "You gotta be kidding me!" But oh, the one at the panel uh, where, yeah, he was like, yeah. like "Go a little deeper, a little deeper." And, yeah, little, yeah, it's over, Egghead. It's over, Egghead. <laughs> like, dude, like he even was like, "What the heck?" <laughs> So oh, babe, yeah, grab me a beer, dude. Ames, uh, he, he this that song club. Ames, you're so uh, valid, but could you like please go get me a brewski? Like it, it, I, I hate, like like look at that little little guy rolling around those hills right now in in Caleb's gameplay. Do you really think he would sound like oh hey these mushrooms are like getting me high and stuff? Like yeah. he's like hey what's up? I'm like I'm little. Hey, that's how's it going? that's you know, always like, been my thing. Is like how does anyone look at Sonic and expect that voice to come out of them? <laughs> I'm so glad to hear that voice coming out of that dog because <laughs> it's like it's the thing we always say if you got if you were like just like around friends or something you say like hey do a sonic voice everyone's gonna go like well they're gonna do like some kind of like higher pitched cartoony voice but like then you hear what sonic actually sounds like now and it's it's not that <laughs> Yeah, I want to also say people are saying, well, you know, it's the voice direction. And look, you know, I agree with that to an extent, but I just, Ow. as a voice actor, as somebody who's like obsessed with voices, I just don't personally think that Roger is capable of performing Sonic the Hedgehog in particular in a way that would sound appropriate in, in my eyes, where Sonic should be like a small diaphragmic voice that comes from, you know, yeah, your diaphragm, like your chest. Ow. Like he, he's a he's a little, little man where the Roger Sonic is like, it's up in your throat, where it's like, he's always struggling. Like, that's why Roger has his trademark breath. Like, whenever Sonic said something, it's always like, like, hey, Tails. <sighs> like, because that's not the range that he should be. I always said, you know? I used to always say that he sounded constipated to me. It always sounded like he's trying to force out a shit. Yeah. yeah, it seems like he's straining when he does the voice. Well, he does. He, he absolutely strains because he, when you hear him scream in like generations when he dies, like, <laughs> His voice cracks a couple times. It's like, Whoa! Like, like, Whoa! Yeah. like, you know, he doesn't really actually scream. Like, I just, I, again, like, you know, this is all just my subjective opinion about the whole thing, but just that, uh, what you I mean? It's I not an objective see. opinion. <laughs> I'm not. The only thing objective is that Roger Craig Smith is alive. That's like the only. That's the only objective thing I could say about the man because his voice. There are some people out there that swear by his voice that they think that he is the definitive Sonic. And you know what? Kudos. You're so lucky that you enjoy this voice because God damn, do I wish <laughs> I didn't have to not like this. But unfortunately, I have my own thoughts and feelings. I know, crazy. But yeah, so I also valid. think that. Yeah, I think that is so valid of you, but um, 
and then Amy sucks too. I think Amy is one of the worst voices I've heard yeah, in Frontiers. And then, like, uh, uh, you know, and, and I've never really cared for Mike Pollock as Eggman, but like even like I've, I think the voice direction of this game was everybody please take a Xanax so you can settle the fuck down. And it's like like even like you know Mike Pollock's Eggman is usually like, uh, uh, but now it's like yeah, Sage, uh, I am. Um, could you uh, go get me a beer? You know, like it's it's just not. Everyone sounds like, like they're falling asleep. Just, yeah, I, I really cannot stand the way that they sound now. And you know what, though? But then you have the opposite effect. Like, then you look at Lost World, where they're all like, Eggman, I'm going to shit my pants. Uh, you yeah. know, like, and then it's the opposite problem, where they sound like, like fucking, it's a Fruity Pebbles commercial, rather than, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's true. Like, like, I always, when, like, Roger and all them, like, they sound like, 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 you know what? Perfect example. Jason was the fucking monkey for the animals. Like, let's give this game a shake. You know, I'm oh like, God, oh. <laughs> yeah. No, there's a Dan. And, there's a Danimals commercial. Jason was the voice of the monkey, and it's just his goddamn Sonic voice. It is. For the, let's give this game a shake. And I'm like, that's so goofy. Why? Why would you want Sonic, the cocky teenage hedgehog, to sound like he's gonna like fucking go on Sesame Street and count with you and shit? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna sell you some yogurt. Oh shit. Yeah. Single level. I like always. Yeah, did, you, did you know that Dan Danimals has nutrients and fiber? I always miss some of the special stage rings in Mushroom Hill. It's so layered. Like I yeah. always, I always fucking can't find Act them. Two has uh, has a few of them, I think. Cause that's I was going back yeah. trying to look for them and I just couldn't. Yeah, the voice actor debate will be something that will always be a thing. By the way, like I've been in I've been in the Sonic fan base since two thousand one, and it even back when Ryan was Sonic. People miss Julia White, so it's like you know, it's a completely subjective thing. No one's ever gonna agree on the same thing. I'm just speaking my words, you know. I, uh... I, I'm not, I'm not saying like I'm right. I'm just saying this is how I feel about it. I have an interesting thing that I want you guys to try. I want everyone who likes Roger, okay, as Sonic, <laughs> just a very simple question. <laughs> Ask any of your friends. What does Sonic sound like? Ask an average random person what the, what would you what would Sonic's voice sound like? What and listen to the impression they do. Almost every single time, it's gonna sound something closer to Ryan or Jason than what Roger's doing right now, because that's what I'm, you expect a short little guy to sound like. I don't Just know. Try it. You see for yourself. I don't know if Emmy's yeah. still here, but I'm pretty sure I heard something way back in the day, and obviously Emmy would know more than anybody because like her and Ryan are really close. Is that? Ryan was also was picked because a he was good, but also because he sounded the closest to Junichi of everyone that auditioned, and mm. they wanted that consistency. Because honestly, I'm not even trying to be biased. If you if you turn the bass all the way up on both of those voices, it's the same kind of voice. And every Sonic voice actor should sound like Junichi. Yeah, <laughs> I it's mean, he's, he's the best. Like yeah, he's, he's, great. he's, I love I love Junichi. Like. I, I obviously I started having to listen to Junichi when Jason was around because I couldn't take it. I couldn't take Sonic going, <laughs> you know. So I was like, well, I better just listen to a Japanese because this guy's been Sonic since uh, since Dreamcast. Up. And um, he's I, I, every you know I don't mind as I, like oh, I, I shit I hate that. Ah, I, fuck, fuck. Hi, Pariah. Uh, yeah, hey, Pariah. What's you up, just man? witnessed my embarrassment. That's my first yeah, special but, um, stage failure. Yeah, I, I I really liked Ryan, you know, um, but I, I unfortunately I have given up on the idea of him returning, not because I don't think he could still do it, because he, realistically he just needs like, you know, some really good direction. And I'm sure he could be back in the, in, the, in the saddle after like a game or two. And it was also be good for nostalgia's sake for a lot of people. But um, honestly, I'm just kind of I'm more concerned about the gameplay now. Like, oh, like yeah. the voices are important to me as a as a as a Steven. But, uh, uh, you know, I, I just, if, if the game's not good, I don't care who Sonic is voiced by. I just really want a good Sonic voice. Yeah, I mean, I, I would be mad. I would be mad if, like, Frontiers 2 is, like, actually good, but then I still have to put up with Roger the whole time and, like, a shitty story, but at least the game will be fun. Like, Generations yeah. is kind of like that, where it's, like, the all the surrounding shit sucks, but, like, the game is still fun, so I don't really mind as much. And I can just yeah. mod sonic's voice so i don't have to hear the fucking roger voice clips oh my god there's a there's a voice mod of me and oh man people took like this huge issue with it like like and i was like dude i was asked to do this i did not i did not initiate this like like wow what an ego on you to replace roger i'm like somebody asked me to do some voices and i did them like that's what i do that's kind of my job <laughs> that was also like god like that was ages more ago. than 10 years ago yeah, yeah. 
But people, there's like, there's one particular critter that's still really mad about it. And I'm like, dude, you've been, you've been after me for over a decade and I haven't budged. I think it's time that you maybe consider starting a family and, Knuckles and settling down. And <laughs> people have been born and died in the time that, uh, that's, that was, that was done. Yeah, but at least as long as I have Junichi, uh, I am, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm with you, Caelan. Like, you know, in the event that Frontiers 2 is actually good, like, hey, as long as I have Junichi, fine. I don't, I don't care. If they even let you, because a lot of them don't, like, let you change the voice. Oh, I think recent Sonic games do Most of them you. have. Yeah. Like, uh, when I played, what, listen, when I played Frontiers, okay, I gave it the best chance it ever had in my, in my home. Like, it was a... It was a like a kind of a moody, cold, rainy day, just like the game. And I put on the Japanese voices. I settled in with like you know my blanket, and 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 I really tried to give it all I could. And I it just I couldn't do it. I just it's awful. It just to me, it, it's literally just that King Kong game. <laughs> Man, I always fucking forget. I know there's a oh here we go. I know there's a butt ton of special stage rings. I just always forget where they are. Yeah. Cause this level's very big. <laughs> that would be cool. Uh, what it was if booms? If they had the option of, do you want just the English subtitles from the English script, or do you want the translated Japanese script? That would be great because I would love to see that. Yeah, because isn't it like in most Sonic games, if you switch it to Japanese, like yeah, the subtitles. It's the English are, script. Yeah. Uh, can I tell you the first time I heard was. Jason and Sonic? Yeah. So. When I, I, I was, I, so the first time I ever, Sonic X had its teaser poster leaked uh, a few weeks before its announcement. And if you don't remember what the teaser poster is, it's that amazing poster of like Sonic and running in the foreground and Eggman's in the background, like Rouge and Shadow are all in it. And I remember saying to myself out loud, I remember it was in my mom's kitchen. I said, this better not be fucking fake because I, for years, you got to remember that the mindset for me in 2003 was that it was the peak of my love for Sonic. Like I love more Sonic more now in a way, but in 2003, I was like a lot of you where anything Sonic did was amazing. I couldn't get enough Sonic. If I saw Sonic, a Sonic display in the store, I had to get it. I had to put him in my room was painted blue covered wall to wall with sonic so i was completely like obsessed with sonic so at the time i i really liked ryan drummond already you know i had gone through sonic adventure sonic shuffle sonic adventure 2 and i fully expected ryan to be the voice of sonic in, in, in sonic x but it was kind of up in the air and when the first episode of sonic x came out uh, i downloaded a copy and it was Junichi, and I'm like, oh shit, this is gonna be great. This is just gonna be an anime with the game voice actors. We're, we're set, we're good. But Ryan Drummond had reached out to people on MySpace and said, yeah, sorry guys, like so far they haven't casted me as Sonic. And I and I told them I would move to New York in order to be the voice of Sonic, and they just, they don't want me. Mm. So I'll never forget the day. Uh, I think it was SonicAnime.net. They they said that there's this Fox Box Kids like like prime time special. It was like going to be at eight o'clock at night. It was going to be the Fox Box was broadcasting um, this big event. I think you could still see it on YouTube. It's it was this big event where all the Fox Box shows that were about to premiere. Like it was a big mashup. It was like a they were about to do a thing where like oh like like an evil character has stolen the, the codes for Fox Box or whatever. Oh, are you trying to show something? I was trying to point at Tails. I'm trying to get him out of the fucking thing so I can use him to fly. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so at the time we didn't know who Sonic was. It was it was completely vague. And then I'll never forget it. I tuned in at eight o'clock. I because because they said I think Sonic is going to finally talk. And I was so excited. I'm like, okay, here we go, Ryan. It's got to be Ryan, right? It's got to be Ryan. There's no way they wouldn't do that. Like Sega's not that dumb. <laughs> and I'll never forget it. I think it gets the Sonic X. And it's the reused footage from episode one. Eggman talked, and I immediately was upset. It, it <laughs> sounded bad. Just, 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 just Sonic. What are you doing here? I'm like, oh, he sounds like your dad. And uh, then Sonic uh. opened his fat trap. I heard you had one of the Fox Box Kids broadcast codes. I'm like, what the fuck happened? I was like, what? I, was, I remember being like, oh. What is that? Why does Sonic sound like a chicken bucking its neck? <laughs> I was like, Look, I remember thinking, yeah, that's what in order to do it, Jason, just bob your head like a chicken. And I'm just like, 
I remember being like just like really upset. I'm like, oh god, this sounds horrible. And then Ryan said, yeah, they didn't they didn't get me for Sonic, and I was really really upset. And then the first episode came out, and not only did they absolutely butt rape the voices, the soundtrack was atrocious. Da, 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 da. Oh yeah, like, oh Sonic my X. god. Yeah. And and yeah, it just I I remember it, but you know here just here's a testament to how much of a Sonic freak I was. Even though I hated the voices, even though I hated the music and the shitty censorship and the crappy just everything about it, I still woke up every Saturday to watch every episode of Sonic X. I didn't miss a single one during its original broadcast. I woke up at seven or whatever it was every Saturday to watch that show. And um, yeah, it, 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 Jason, like, I know Jason's the popular one because all the kids that grew up with Sonic X and stuff, like, I mean, look at Sonic Omens. Sonic Omens is what happens when you let a four kids fan make a Sonic game. When Sonic dies, he goes, oh, no. But, you know, for me, Jason never got better. I'm sorry. I didn't think he was good in Black Knight or Unleashed or, like, you know, and kudos to him for voice acting with Pneumonia and all that. He's not a bad guy in the slightest. But he will always sound like a cheap Sesame Street Barney the Dinosaur character to me. And I'm sorry. Just, it just, like, to me, like, it sounds like being a princess isn't that easy. It's not any different than, than oh, that's cool. It'll be like a Halloween thing all year long. I don't I remember the, it's the same shit. <laughs> I, Sonic I just, X is the, is the closest any of those, like, Sonic cartoons have ever been for me of, like, something I'd actually like, but I still, I can't. If I was ever to watch it, I would have to do the Japanese one because, yeah, like, I... I would not be able to put up with the shitty four kids. Um, yeah, four kids one. It, yeah, I just I can't do it. I, I, Jason just is so goofy to me. Uh, I'll say I think his shadow's not so bad. I um, like his shadow. Yeah, I I would actually I think if you want to solve a lot of issues in the Sonic infighting, have Ryan and Sonic, have Jason and Shadow. Ba boom, uh, you 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 will please yeah, a I'd lot be, of people. I'd be happy with that. I mean, I still like David as Shadow, but. Um, David's the best shadow. Yeah. The, to me, there's no doubt. But if he, they, he is the best if they had to get Jason for it, I wouldn't complain. I'm just saying, like, if you want to kind of heal, like, a kind of a big wound in the Sonic fan base, you know. Yeah. You can have, you can, they, they can be like, yeah, Jason and Ryan are together, and like they're great. You know? Yeah, and Jason's a really swell guy. He he seems like he's super happy. I watched the way he interacted oh, with his fans at, at um. Oh, at, oh, that sucks. I jumped too early. <clears throat> Embarrassing. It's true. Yeah, there's like seven special stage so rings in the zone, and I'm not even fucking finding like half of them. Yeah. This happens every no, time. I, uh, we are not the voice actor. We are. We we are. I'm gonna say this now. I'll, I would put money on this. We're going to see a death of one of the voice actors before we see a replacement. Like, you know, like I'm saying, like they're, it's gonna be where they get to be so old. Like, like we'll see like one of them die while in production. Like how the Japanese Eggman. We've gone through. We're gonna be on our third one now in that time. I think I, I think Roger and Mike Pollock and Cindy. They're here to stay and. To my dismay, but you know, if it makes a lot of people happy, great. You know, I'm I'm happy somebody's happy because it's just for me. Those are not my char the characters that I love. No. I, I the, when Roger, there's never been a single time I ever heard Roger as Sonic. Where I'm like, yeah, that's good. No. I yeah, I don't. I I think I think we will see like Roger because Roger left. You know, once I would I think we'd see that before they would like say we're gonna just replace everybody i don't i don't think they're ever going to do that because you see the way that they interact on the social media is like you know katie and all them are all really good friends with them so i think that they're happy with with it and sammy probably doesn't give a shit as long as it's cheap and cheerful they yeah. probably don't care so and you know what that's fine that's their franchise they can do whatever they want but i am absolutely going to it just uh, it just stinks that like we finally have consistency but with like the shittest voices you know like yeah they couldn't have been consistent like 20 years ago when they had good ones yeah i mean obviously dean bristow passed away anyway so you can't get him back but like 
It just sucks. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you can you could still there. I mean, there's still other people who should be Eggman. Like, I want to see John Rhys Davies as Eggman. I think, unfortunately, I do think he's a little too old to do that because I want I would like a cast that's good and is gonna last a while. Mm. You know, I remember when we when we found out that Roger quit that for that little stint. I remember saying to like, you know, like on streams of like Sega, okay, you're going to get new voice actors. If they're good, now's the time. Please make your theme park ride. Please make more yeah, anime. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Do it all now while you can. Do it. I know there's a few, awesome. I know there's a few funky little hidden rings in this level, like the one you push the spikes out of the way and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Sonic 3, though, is still one of those games where it's like every time I play it, if I really go out of my way, like, I will find something I've just never even found before. Mm -hmm. Even though I've played it so many times. Uh, Nate, Nate Sa Sabez, I think that's how it's pronounced, says, I'd like to see John DiMaggio's Eggman. Oh my god, yeah, get the Union actors, ooh. You know, hey, funny story, One, of, this, this is from many, many, many years ago. Uh, when 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 uh, the information came out that Ryan was supposed to come back for generations and stuff, a friend of mine who unfortunately isn't a friend anymore, he he didn't like that I made fun of Brony, so he kind of cut off all contact with me. But anyway, he told me that yeah, like there was a point where I guess Sega got a new creative director, and uh, that's why the four kids cast got replaced because they were like, well, this th these are very cheap. We should get rid of these guys. They're they're kind of you know making the brand you know like cheap, and I guess. He got the go-ahead from Sega to go ahead and audition a bunch of union actors. So I believe, from what I remember, John DiMaggio, Tara Strong, Tom Kenny, I want to say Charlie Adler were, like, auditioned for different roles. We don't know which roles. And he went to Sega and said, okay, I got all these guys. Uh, what, what, do, uh, what do you think? And they're like, okay, great. Have them leave their union. Yeah, that's fucking and so, so shit. So basically, we lost out on, um, on, like, possibly, yeah, having union voice actors. And they make a difference, by the way. Uh, these freelance, like, just, just dime a dozen voice actors are cheapening the voiceover industry and we're, art is greatly suffering for it. <laughs> Sonic is supposed to be, like, a little guy, He's, you know, the... I will never understand the desire for a deep-voiced, older Sonic, like, I just, I do not get it. I just think it is so <laughs> antithetical to the concept of Sonic as a character, as this teenage rebel thing but no let's make him have this really deep voice and then also separate to that let's let's team him up with a, a cop in a small town for some reason but then actually give him an okay voice in that one like i don't really get it yeah i yeah ben schwartz i will say this with some direction could be just as good as ryan he has very ryan like qualities in his voice yeah and, and like his uh, ninja turtles stuff he sounds really good yeah I think with just some better direction, like, uh, you know, less Seinfeld, more Sonic, he could be crazy good as Sonic, but it's just, unfortunately, you know, he's a celebrity and, and Sega is absolutely not going to pay those those celebrity fees. Yeah. So, no. I don't know. I, I, I quite like Ben as Sonic. I, I, I would glad I, if he was announced as Sonic for the I, games. I think I would, he's I the only ecstatic. reason movie Sonic is like remotely likable is just that I think he, he does an all right voice for him. Um, I think if not mm -hmm. for his performance, Sonic would be just a no like he'd be way more annoying than he already is in those movies. Yeah. yeah. I'm just glad it wasn't like Tom Holland or something oh, like Ben. Hell. Ben seems like oh. he gives a shit, and and I and I I'm, I'm happy for him. You know, I, I I'm glad that he seems to enjoy being Sonic, and he seems like he likes to interact with the fans. And he, he's he's a good guy. I I really wish that uh, he was Sonic in the games. I oh, I'd I said happily that specifically. Take him. Yeah, I actually said that specifically. Uh, Katie and Aaron asked like what I thought of the movie. After the premiere of the first one, I said, yeah, didn't really care for it, but that Ben Schwartz makes a good Sonic. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was not afraid. I'm not afraid to tell them, like, to their face. I don't like, I, I'm obviously very respectful. Like, you know, I'm not going to go, oh, you yeah, walk up to them. Shit. They didn't sprint up to them like the fucking T-1000 and was just like, <laughs> fucking kill them. Yeah, that first movie is unbearable. Like, I, I'll never watch the second one again unless I asked to, but I, I, even if someone asked if I'd watch the first movie, like, no. I, I mean, I'll tell you what, I'll watch the first movie, but I'm going to be on my phone, like, most of the time. I have no desire to ever watch them again. Mm -hmm. No, Outside of just I, I the, the fact that I am a Sonic fan and maybe I would want to reacquaint myself with Sonic things, but, like, I, there's no reason to, to watch them. Yeah. For, for me. 
I don't like them. No, I, yeah, I completely agree. Da -da -da. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad mm -hmm. Mania got rid of those, like, corkscrew waiting bits in their flying battery, because it's easily the shittest part of this level, is having to sit and wait in those things. Yeah, this fucking bum, bum, shit. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, I will say, Mr. Kalem, that, uh, gotta leave in about 40-ish minutes. That's fine. I, uh, I have, I have to keep my, my nightly swimming up so I can stop being Oops. obese. Yeah, well, I mean, like to, Sonic like 3 shouldn't take before... too much longer yeah, anyway. I'd like, to, I'd like to lose a little bit of weight before we go to Sonic Revolution this year. <laughs> I've been eating better and swimming every day. It's been really nice. Yeah, I've been making sure I still go for walks every day, even though I'm at home all the time. I'm not, like, walking to work anymore, so... I've been trying to do that <clears throat> while, you know, writing this big fucking Sonic video. I'm really hoping to, like, trim it down a bit today. Yeah. It is, it's I, too I long at the moment. To animate, I was supposed to animate while I watch your stream, but I just, I, I, I'll just animate when I get back from swimming. There's not anything over here, is there? No. Where's the one with the spikes? I don't remember. I thought I was on the right track to it, but maybe not. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, uh, I don't yeah, like these I, bits. I I wish that Ben Schwartz would go to like Sonic Revolution or something. That'd be cool. I'd love to meet him. I don't well, know how to tell him this. The one guy going, Lee. Yeah, they yeah, get the, the Agent Stone. The actor. Ah, fuck. Yeah, Agent Agent Stone's actor is going. I, um, I don't even know how to pronounce the last name, so I'm not gonna butcher it because he seems like a really nice guy. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Yeah, I um, I would. I, I it sucks because like you know. I would hate to be like, oh yeah, Ben, you're great as Sonic, but but I, I also want to just say, but can you like be the real Sonic though? Like not not that ugly Simpsons parody that you, that that parades around in that movie. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the new Sonic now. That's Sonic Forever. No. Sonic. I'm sorry. There's not a single person on this earth that can ever convince me that Sonic with blue arms works. I'm, there's no way. Blue Literally Sonic a bootleg, like actual just bootleg Sonic shit. That's what it looks like. And it always will. Yep. I, I, I've been offered to be Sonic in projects where he has blue arms and I just politely decline. I'm like, I can't do it. I, I Those blue arms make my, my brain hurt. Like, like, and, and it's as I always say, like, if you, if you, if you know anything about color theory, too much blue is absolutely bad for your, for, for the mind. Like it, it screws you up really bad. Uh, I, I like blue light. Like, like I like to chill in my office with just nothing but blue light. But like on a character like Sonic, like it just it's too much blue and it looks terrible. Yeah, yeah you There's can't nothing. see his arms against his big blue hair that goes back over where his like elbows um sorry, where like his arms attach to his body. Uh D-Pad says you get used to the blue arms and the boom in the movies. Well unfortunately, D-Pad, I think boom is the <laughs> worst thing that's ever happened to Sonic, and I also really don't like those movies, so uh I, yeah, it's just it's you know, for me, I it's it's just the color blue is 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 very weird on your on your brain so and i and i'm a very particular person like i'm kind of picky with with stuff so i i i we quite sonic like, fans i like peach tan arms whatever you want to call them i'm doing so bad getting these emeralds man i should have them all by now already that happens, dude. Well, you know you're streaming, okay? When that's the thing that a lot of people don't realize that when you, when when someone's streaming a game, their their their, their attention's going on multiple things. Yeah. So you know you're not gonna like like when I stream games, people are like, oh, Steve, you're shit. It's like yeah, because I'm streaming. I'm trying to focus on you and the game at the same time. Someone's uh, asking you. Yeah, I don't know if you've played it. Which one is that? That's the is one the, the with the lady. No, that's the one with Chris and the other girl. Uh, it's the co-op, like the one of the first co-op ones. I haven't played it either. Um, uh, yeah, I've never. I've, RE5 I've ever is played... usually considered when the games started getting bad. I think like RE5 and six. Um, I've I've only ever played the remake of Resident Evil 2 and I didn't finish it. I'm ashamed. I'd like to finish it. A friend bought that for me and I feel bad because I played it for a bit and it's just I was going through a rough time. I'm still I'm always going through a rough time. Though. I was going through a rough time and I didn't want to force playing it because yeah. Uh, I'll actually say this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mention names, but um, when I finished Scared Stupid 3, 
um, someone came out of the out of the shadows to to greatly go through extreme lengths to harass some me. Some free bird. Yeah, some free some free bird. No, not not him. Mike Pollock has never <laughs> done anything like that. We goof on him, but he he takes it in stride. But uh, somebody came out of the woodwork to uh, like extremely harass me uh, to the point of like me fe feeling physically ill, and I had just finished Scared Stupid three, so I was like completely just drained and then this person comes out of the woodwork they say all kinds of really nasty things streaming streaming my video showing people how i'm terrible and blah 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 and the next day i went and bought mario odyssey and i couldn't enjoy mario odyssey because that person had done that so uh with resident evil 5 same kind of thing happened so i i or resident evil 2 i should say remake uh, i'd like to go back and play it though i i, yeah, I just that I think you'd like it. My only problem with those kind of games is I'm not super big on cryptic, like, get a key for here, get a key for there, get a key for here, get a key for there kind of thing. But uh, I, Resident I, Evil's I, I pretty like... good with it. It's it's basically just Metroid, but um, as a horror game. That's that's part of why I like him so much. I want Dino Crisis like that so bad. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Well, and also, if, yeah, you, I, if you don't like the exploration stuff as much, then you really should play RE4, because that is the... No, I like exploration. Um, it's just... It's just for me, like, um, I like the limited ammo and I don't at the same time, but um, I, 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 yeah, from the bit I played, especially now that I have a good graphics card, I should be able to crank that bitch to 4K. Oh, easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do I love Mario Odyssey's? No, unfortunately. A mix between being harassed and, and having my mental health in the toilet and then just... I didn't like the busy work of Mario Odyssey. They're like, oh, it's like Mario 64. I'm like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, I think they so. needed to cut out like 75% of the moons in that game and only have the platforming mm. ones and then it would have been way better. Yeah. Like like the the feeling you get when you get a star in Mario 64 or Sunshine is lost because there's so many of those goddamn oh, moons. I yeah. I think it is a wonderful game. I just unfortunately I didn't enjoy it too much. I still think Mario 3D World is my favorite 3D Mario game. I like platforming. Platforming's my thing. I I love platforming. Yeah, I think it, I really want an Odyssey sequel that's just it just focuses on the movement and just builds a lot more platforming stuff to do with it. Because the best part of Odyssey is just exploring the the map and like finding cool ways to like shortcut up things and and get to like the actual core moons. But then there's all the other shit where it's just like you just find them like out in the open and whatever. And if you want to go for 100, percent it's fucking miserable. It's way too much stuff. Ow. I always uh, we talked about this rings, earlier. Uh... We talked about this earlier about Wonder, by the way. Um, I, I liked it, but I didn't love it. And Mario's voice is kind of terrible. <laughs> yeah, Mario Wonder didn't blow me away as like much as I was kind of hoping it would. Um, it's good, but it's not. Uh... Yeah, it didn't. I don't know. It didn't have like the kind of wow factor of like just pure platforming joy that i was hoping for and i, I haven't really played thought, like the new super mario brothers games but it still kind of reminded me of them a bit it didn't feel that different yeah I, the art style is cool but like i i'm not a fan of when these 2d mario games try to stuff a ton of shit in like the level like okay well you got to use the elephant power up to get this thing and you got to get these coins and you got to get these things and you got to get that thing like that's why I like Mario World and Mario 3 so much is because this, the hidden stuff is hidden. It's subtle. And I also th did not care for the elephant power-up and it was used so much. Sorry, I muted for a second yeah. the garbage truck outside. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with you, Pariah. I wasn't crazy about the level design in Mario Wonder. <laughs> Oh, Alejandro asked me what is better, Sonic 3 or Super Mario World. I Sonic 3 is my favorite video game of all time. Um, I love Super Mario World to death, but Sonic 3 and Knuckles is, to me, the peak of the of the highest mountain of gaming. Not even just Sonic. I love Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I still think if Mania was fully original, I would. I think I would put it as my favorite oh, I, Sonic I, I, game. Is it possible? Yeah, absolutely it would be possible. If, if Mania was a fully original game, it could have been my favorite Sonic game, but... The reason why I like this so much is because, you know, firstly, again, I'm biased. I played this like the week it came out. So, you know, I, I this was a brand new Sonic game to me. But I just um, think could, it, could there be improvements? Oh, absolutely. But it's just yeah. they, they haven't done it. I know? just think Mania has like just the best, like most consistent level design. And um, 
gets that sense of flow, I think, a little bit better without sacrificing the the sort of exploring around and stuff. Yeah. Right, there's unfortunately many people who haven't played Outer Wilds yet. I think we have to do something about it. Oh, mm -hmm. speaking of which, you weren't here for it earlier, but I've got... Oh, fuck, my headphones. I forgot. Uh, um, I got another... Sure. I gotta spread my my propaganda where I can. Ow. Yeah, like Mania did. You know, it's true that while the, they may have used the same like you know zones for Mania and like the the level design is completely new for most of them. It's just they still feel like the old zones. Like so, it it, it is a best of compilation. But that's my problem. Yeah, it's very different in a lot of ways, but also there's parts where the level design is literally the same, um, with yeah. like a few little changes. And yeah, the aesthetic thing is still like, oh, this is like cool, but I would really like a brand new game, please. Yeah, exactly. I still think Mania is more I, original I, than Superstars, though. Yo, yeah, uh, the, when, when Sonic Mania hits, it hits like hard. Like those, like I'll never. It sucks. It sucks really bad being a public Sonic figure because um, I went. I was trying my very best not to get any spoilers for Sonic Mania, like right before it came out. And then somebody spoiled that Hydro City and uh, Lava Reef were in it, mm. and I was like, great. So all the zones ah. were revealed to me. But there was that moment when I went to Press Garden Act Two that I hadn't seen. And you see, like the snow and stuff, it blew me away. Yeah. I wish that the whole game was like that. That's definitely a yeah, highlight that I remember because yeah, I knew Lava Reef was in it as well because I think I saw. Uh, I think I was watching like the night it was coming out. I think Aaron Weber was like streaming on the Sonic um, YouTube channel. He was playing a bit of Mania, and they were just talking about it, and, like how special it was and stuff, and it was it was kind of cool. Um, and I remember they played like a little launch trailer thing or something and I was kind of like, oh, I, I don't know if I should see this or something. And then like, yeah, immediately I saw like a clip of Lava Reef and I was like, oh, fuck, I don't know Lava Reef was in this game. I don't want to see that. Yeah, I would have been so hyped uh, to not know about Lava Reef Zone. Uh, that was that was actually one of the most fun parts about playing Mania for the first time is you didn't know what was around the corner. Yeah, yeah. That was fun. Now for another boring, <laughs> another boring boss. There's a handful of these. Most of them, it's like, yeah, you can still do the thing where you just like jump on them. But then there's a couple like this. Where you're like, ah, come on. I've done this before. Yeah, I, I still, obviously, I, I, I'm, I'm not very hopeful for the future for Sonic, but. They, they could always turn it around. It's it's very possible. The night of the 25th party was when I decided internally, I was like, okay, if they don't show off something tonight, I, I'm done. Because this was at the height of Boom when I was like, okay, yeah. the series is... They were still I, showing off one of the series. new games. Fucking poor Skyla had to play it for like five seconds on the stream and then they cut back to the stage. So they yeah. kept shuffling um, them around. And, and then they announced Sonic Mania. And I was like, okay, we, we're so back. <laughs> Uh, Alejandro is asking me what franchise has better music, Sonic or Mario? Well, that's completely a subjective thing. I think Sonic overall, for me. I mean, I can listen that's to the soundtrack tricky. of Sonic 3 all day long. That's really I mean, like, tricky, because I love wait, both of them. No, I, I love both of those too. I mean, but it's just that I've just found that Sonic has like more... I like video gamey more music for Sonic. Like this shit, like these Genesis instruments and stuff. You like... Yeah, I don't care for that the internet culture of everything has to be known before it comes out. I completely agree. Like, I miss when things were like, okay, here, we're gonna show you some really good shit and then we're gonna be quiet about it until it comes out. <laughs> I really wish that games were announced like three, four months before they come out. So that's, that yeah, that's the fucking way to do it. That's yeah. like uh, Metroid Dread when they just were like, yep, here's, here's a trailer for a new 2D Metroid game you've waited like 20 years for. By the way, it's coming out in a few months and you're just like, dude, holy shit, like I don't have to sit around yeah. and they didn't pull a Metroid Prime 4 where I'm still waiting to see if that game's even real or not. I mean, I'm with you because as an Elder Scrolls fan, they announced Elder Scrolls 6 like, God, like six years ago or something. They just showed like a shitty pre-rendered trailer and then, then nothing has happened since then. D-pad, you're right. A shitty star, star you're right that the movies have been a success and Frontiers was like a, a better success than like previous Sonic things as well. 
but I don't trust Sega and Sonic Team to invest that new like attention and funding and stuff in the right places. I just see it as okay, now we can just make more shit and like it'll still sell. Yeah. That's great. I was I was gonna say that like measuring something's quality by its financial uh, uh, gross is not really well. A good I, I, I don't think they meant that like they're good because they sell well. I think they mean because they're selling well, maybe Sega will oh, invest well, properly into making Sonic well, better. I, was say, I don't think so. Though. All that all that's enabling them to do is go. Wow, we did the bare minimum and we made money. Yeah. So now we can do and, even and less, I'm, and people will like I'm it. I'm sorry to say, fellas and, and ladies and gentlemen, but the Frontiers is. If you look at any other video game ever. Frontiers is extremely basic, and the Sonic movies are also extremely basic. That fucking Woody Woodpecker movie that came out <laughs> the other day looks like a Sonic movie sequel. So yeah. it's just, you know, I'm not saying you can't enjoy them, and I'm not saying that you're saying that, yeah, like that, oh, they're good because they made money. I'm just saying that all the, the success has going to do is oh. say to Sega, well, we could do the bare minimum and make a ton of money, and that's, that's what they're going to do. They're going to make the bare minimum. You know, Frontiers 2 is going to just be more of the same and maybe with some better polish, you know? And then Sonic's still going to look like a velvet like rug for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> you know, and it'll be what it is. And you know what? If you enjoy that stuff, enjoy, you know? Like, go for it. Go go have fun. I, I really, like, I want to believe that Frontiers 2, whatever, like a Frontiers-esque sequel will be like this huge improvement. But I just, I don't see it, especially not after the Final Horizon. Um, Sega's, Sega's problem is that they don't commit. You know what I mean? Like, they like they have, they have love an idea, but then they don't commit to it. And committing means you have to put money and time. And they don't want to put in money and time. They are, Sega is owned by Sammy, a gambling company, and all they care about are profits. Just Sega, think some if people they... in Sega might care about the artwork and, 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 and the quality, but not the company. I just think if they like focused on having actual Sonic level design in the world and gave Sonic proper fucking movement mechanics, then they'd have mm -hmm. like a really easy yeah. like formula for a good game. But they don't want to do it. My, I don't think they'll uh, do that's it. What, that's what I've said for many many years. Is that if you're gonna do it, I've I've actually been championing for an open world Sonic game before it was popular. I used to, I remember on a stream about. Eight years ago, someone said, like, what was your dream Sonic game? And I explained about how it should be open world and stuff like that. But the terrain has to be natural. It can't be just fucking Sonic just Forces assets everywhere. floating in the fucking yeah. sky. No, the like, best idea know? is just using Angel Island as an open world that is right yeah. there. Right, yeah, that, that is a great question. What will they rip off next? Because they've already ripped off Zelda <laughs> and, like, Bayonetta and Metal Gear Rising and stuff. They need to find a new thing to rip off. So like, what's well, the popular making? They can rip off Helldivers. <laughs> that. that was actually that's actually the game in my script at the moment that I'm using as an example of like a you know oh if Sonic is Sonic and any Sonic game is good if Sonic's in it then I'm like all right the next Sonic game is Helldivers two but Sonic's in it like is that a good Sonic game? You know like that was just just because well, yeah, I have Rogers I have footage like, of it and it's recent and I was like I'll just use that. Well yeah, you can use a strategy to call it a squadron of buzz bombers. Dis d d uh, deploying buzz bombers in 30 seconds. <laughs> oh yeah, if anybody thinks I hate Roger, I think Roger is brilliant in Helldivers too. He fits that douchey military voice extremely well, so it's not that I want the man to be like pincushioned like a voodoo doll, so let's, let's stop with the rhetoric that I hate the man. Yeah, that's a role that he actually suits, because he's not... Sonic. Yeah, he's 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 great. I, I, when when I was told that Roger was in Helldivers, I'm like, ah, oh, shit. Like, am I gonna have to deal with this now? But I'm glad he is because he's perfect as as like the the mission control. I love it. Like request approved. Sending in uh, what is what is it? Uh, sending in sending in a brand. Sending in uh, a Hummer and some Starbucks and uh, and some Ubas. I was there like still a garbage truck going outside like they've been doing this for like fucking like two hours now Cameron's out there trying to ruin your stream in the garbage yeah. truck well, there was there was someone nearby earlier who was like using a fucking chainsaw or something and I, like right before I started oh. the stream I was kind of worried okay, I sending know... in pizza hut I know there's one last ring right before the boss, so you gotta be yeah, quick for it. It's, 
Yeah, I, I always fuck this one up. I usually oh, have only me. emeralds. Oh, you had, oh, it was the timer. Tails, help. Tails, wait for me. Eee. Uh, where's the, oh, can I not go back to it? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Okay. No, one, once you miss it, that's it. Game I know, over. I know where a few in Lava Reef are, so it's fine. Yeah, Lava Reef, like, when I do a casual playthrough of this, just, you know, just not trying really hard, I usually just get them all by Lava Reef Zone. I actually, personally, this is my little hot take, I don't like Supersonic. I think that, like, like as an end game, like, you, you beat the shit out of the game, like, thing, it's fun, but, like, I like just being Sonic because, like, when you're Super Sonic, you just breeze through the levels. Like, nothing, yeah, I, nothing I usually really prefer being normal Sonic, but I, I like the 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 reward of like, oh, you get this thing you can actually use whenever yeah. you want in the normal level. Like I so. said, as an as a complete save game, like a new game plus, it's great. It's a great gimmick. I like that. I like the but, you know uh, you get the the true ending and everything. Um, even if the mm -hmm. the Doomsday Zone final boss, I mean, it's fine, but it's not like. Incredible or anything. Yeah. It's better than the Mania one. The Mania final boss is pretty shit. So weird that T-Lopes, when he did this music, he added a third part of that. Oh, like repeating that little stem yeah. melody bit. Mm-hmm. Uh. Those like sliding for a sec there. Uh, what about all those chains that are were floating around or uh, maybe I was Uh I yeah, I thought I saw something there for a sec. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's a Sonic 3 Air thing or if there's like a mod running or that's changing that. Yoink. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's a ring not here. Oh wait, no, is there one in there? That was a me. No. no. Yeah, I know. Left, right? I know there's a to the left. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. There was? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Didn't mean to get backseat game there. Nah, no, it's fine. I just needed to make sure I actually got all of them. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, this one's annoying. I swear I always, like, forget what the last, like, four are in this uh, stage. You joked to Prific about Chris Pratt being Sonic, but uh, he was he almost originally was. on... He was originally slated to... Like, they had him on the casting list for Sonic and the cop. So, like, they wanted Chris Pratt, trust yeah, me, and thank fuck they didn't get him. I hate those movies, but Ben Schwartz is the best Sonic voice since uh, Ryan for me. Yeah. No, the correct, the correct Sonic music is do 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 Oh, my... Let me tell you, when I was at the Hollywood premiere of the Sonic movie 2, I was already like, eh, this movie's like, whatever. But then when I heard, do, 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 I slunk in my seat and was like, oh. How God. embarrassing. Did the crowd laugh at that cool movie? Oh, let me tell you. I was surrounded by the yes men that were all screaming and clapping with their feet. That There was a second oh, yeah. bar scene. There's Woo! a bar scene in both of those movies. And a wedding. Woo! I, I appreciated, like, I got to meet a lot of uh, friends, though. That was the most important thing about the movie premiere. I got to, I finally got to meet uh, Sam and Kenny and Evan. Uh, some call me Johnny. Oh, man. Yeah, and you got to more. get everyone together and I'll go, da -do 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 -do. Yeah. Just they, like Sonic. All of my friends were hyping up, um, hyping up the shadow thing, which I don't blame them for, but I just, I didn't care. <laughs> it would have been way better if Sonic started doing the Gangnam Style. That would be way funnier. <laughs> what is this, Steve? Didn't you oh, clap at the head. wedding scene where they do nothing for? Oh yeah, I I, I was I, fucking uh... miserable in the cinema watching that. I I like yeah. I was so fucking confused of like what is happening? Why are we watching this? I, Why am I, I here? Had, well, yeah. See, the same thing for me, but I was in a fucking suit. Like, yeah, uh, that like would. I was, mm. I, would not I, was, I, I don't like wearing suits. I wish these Hollywood premieres were like, hey, just come in your fucking underwear. But Shit. like, 
I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a big guy, so like I'm sitting in this big suit. I look like Tony Soprano about to make an offer you can't refuse. Watching, watching a Norbit wedding scene in my Sonic movie, and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> this, 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 that scene sucks. Makes you feel like a really important, a you know, valuable uh, uh, member of this, this epic premiere. Unfortunately, I will for all for everyone out there who thinks we hate everything. I'll give Alex the one thing. The one joke that was a little funny was when the priest opened up the book and there's a gun in there. That was kind yeah. of a funny visual guy. In the Sonic movie, what? That I don't was, remember that. Yeah, that was about. Yeah. that was about that. In the Sonic the Hedgehog yes. movie, when the priest took a gun out of a book. What priest? I oh at the at the at the wedding, wedding? at the oh. wedding scene. Okay. Yeah. Whenever it was like when he, they're complaining about oh it's everybody gun and the priest. Uh, opens his book and there's a gun in there and I thought that was kind of funny. It's a funny I, little visual gag. I he will say shame that, too. I will say that if I am graciously invited to the premiere of the third movie, I hope it's at least the best of the three so that like I can enjoy it's something. Be, I have a feeling. I, yeah, I, I, hope so. I don't I don't think I'll enjoy it. I can never get over Sonic's ugly ass design but like I wish I could be hyped up like all like my friends were because it must be nice to just enjoy whatever, but I, I also just, I, I'm kind of proud that I have taste and I stand by them, but I'm also like, I wanted to feel some of the wind coming off their sails, I guess, is what I, what I would say. I just wish it was but like, I, hey guys, yeah. this is the premiere for the new 3D animated, like, cartoony Sonic movie with they you know, with like all the characters and not fucking all this other stupid shit. Yeah, can I have can I have a Japanese dub like in my ear though? That'd be great. Because <laughs> if it's animated, it's just gonna be Roger and Paul. Well, and yeah, maybe. Yeah. That was actually they announced the Sonic movie in 2013, and I remember thinking, oh, this is just gonna be like a safe animated movie, like this, like you know, it's gonna have Roger and Mike Pollock and all that, and then. When it was like, oh, it's a live action movie by Sony, I'm like, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> You can hear I went back to listen to a bit of like a Sonic Mania stream I did like after my original critique video like six years ago. Um, and I was talking about the movie in that and I said, yeah, you know, it'll probably be like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Eggman, Metal Sonic or something like all these things. And I'm like, oh, no, that's not remotely what we got at all. And I'm also going to ah. say this now, if you if you are a fan of the movie and you think that somehow it's going to beat Mufasa, you are delusional. Hmm. We are talking about Disney. The original, the, the, the other Lion King movie made like a billion dollars. Isn't the, also, isn't that going up, no, it was originally going up against like an Avatar thing as well, or is that not? Yeah, yeah, originally I think, uh, and I think Avatar got pushed back. Right. So. Also, secondly, if you care about box office gross, you're a tool who gives a shit about how much a money by a billion dollar corporation cares. And it's also just it's it's those movies are bad in the same way. They're like unnecessary, ugly movies that take something that was once beautiful and just shit on them. So, yeah, I, I just I had someone the other day message me saying, so, Steve, what's your stakes on Mufasa versus Sonic? I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Like it's, it's what? It's Disney. It's Disney who fucking sucks. It's Paramount who fucking sucks. It's Sonic ugly creature Alvin and the Chipmunks who sucks. And it's a live action emotionless cat that I don't give a shit about. You're not gonna go so, start like, a, a flame war over these fucking different yeah, movies. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't put my stakes in in things that aren't real. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about a movie making like they they they, they both win because they're they're joyless, sadless. Destroying the world, the corporations. Come on, Steve. If Sonic wins the box office war, then you know maybe the next movie will be good, right? Oh, yeah. But they're good already, though. They're already good. Yeah, yeah. they're already peak. But you know. I don't like. Yeah, I don't care if Mufasa makes more money. Like D Disney is Disney. They they make billions and billions of dollars doing nothing. I sure do. I can, the only two movies I give a shit about this year are uh, Planet of the Apes and Beetlejuice. That's it. I don't. I'm nothing curious else. about the new Transformers thing, but like, I don't think it's gonna be good. I want to see it. I think the, uh, I think the trailer's coming out like in a couple days. The Transformers one trailer. 
Oh, I, hey, a D-pad. I adore the Mario movie, and I'm, yeah. I know I'm the only one in the in the call that does. So, like, that'll tell you. But I adore the Mario movie. I it's flawed, but it is really fun. I loved it. I, I can't wait for the next one, and hopefully Donkey Kong gets his own. I really liked that movie. Hope it was make just an old-fashioned adventure movie. Hope they make a Metroid movie with Samus. Goes like, um, did that just happen? Now Zelda, I have no faith in that movie. Sony's making it. That's gonna be shit. I can just tell you right now, Sony does not know how to make movies anymore. Depends how much of it is like up to. Oh no, it's live action, right? Never mind. Yeah, it's not Sony yeah, Pictures it's Animation. Live action. Okay. No. No, Sony Pictures Animation is great. Just Sony's live action stuff is all garbage. Yeah. Yeah, uh, D-pad. I my hope for the second Mario movie is it opens with Bowser still in the cum jar. And there's like a raid on the castle by Wario and Waluigi, and like they break them out and they all team up. Uh, that's that's kind of what I would like to see. This boss is cool dramatically for the story, but it's kind of boring. Yeah. I'm glad they shortened it in three. Yeah. Like yeah, the build up I, before. Yeah, the cinematic is stuff is great. Like, yeah, like the death egg up in the. Up yeah, in the, that's just awesome. I loved that. I remember the first time I played, uh, cause I, you know, I played Sonic 3 on its own first and then, uh, Sonic Knuckles and then when you can combine them. I remember the first time playing through the whole thing, I was like, man, this is just so good. Yeah, if I still get the, the chance to slot it into the video without it, like, cramming up too much time, I do want to have a little mention about, like, the way the Sonic Adventure started, the kind of over-reliance on big cinematic story moments and less on the gameplay and like weaving the story through the gameplay. It's more about just having all these cutscenes, like so many cutscenes you could make it a feature length movie. Um, but if you watch them like that, you realize that they're not very interesting. Like a lot of the cutscenes are quite fucking boring. Um, yeah. And you know, maybe if we're gonna put all this shit in these games, they should be good. And I'm not trying to say that Sonic shouldn't have stories or Sonic shouldn't have any kind of cutscenes, but just like it should have less of them. You know, brevity is the soul of wit. Or whatever, like, you know, just only have what you need. Don't clutter it up with unnecessary shit. Uh, I did not see Godzilla vs. Kong The New Empire. Um, I really hated the first Godzilla vs. Kong, so I didn't bother. I I'll, I have a few Godzilla friends that tell me that it's better, but it's not, I'm not going all the way to the movies to sit through something I'm going to be bored through. So once a clean uh, rip is obtainable, I'll give it a watch, but for now... Uh, considering how good everyone said minus one was, I should probably watch that. Because I've never really minus one is a one. masterpiece, yeah. Calum. You're going right. to love it. It's. Uh, I wanted know, to try and see it in cinemas. I'm just barely playing it anywhere. I we don't know when the 4K Blu-ray is coming, but if it comes before you come, dude, we, that's going to be a movie night. We got to sit down and yeah, watch that cool. shit. I think it said it was releasing on May 3rd on Amazon. Hey. hey. I still think the 54 original is always going to be my favorite, but Minus One was awesome. Ugh. Sorry, I was checking my phone. No worries. <sighs> I am going to have to split in about five-ish minutes, though. Oh, my. Sorry. I would have loved to have stayed for the whole thing, but I really got to keep swimming. I need to see I'm gonna Shin Godzilla as well. Probably I mentioned I've heard that one's very good, too. I, feel, I do really like Shin Godzilla, but in my opinion, it's just a little too slow. I feel like these are all movies I should like. I've just never really watched them. Yeah, God's Godzilla. I, I love Godzilla. I'm a big, huge Godzilla fan. Hey, this part wasn't the Cyber Shell part to me. I knew about this before his video. Damn. I'm surprised they didn't make it yellow in Generations. Yeah, that was a- I didn't, like, want to mention it explicitly in my video when I mentioned how, like, the Generations levels don't re- Like, they look good, but they don't look authentically like the classic levels. They look like, what if Sonic 1 was in Sonic Unleashed kind of thing. Um, and I was thinking, like, an obvious mention for Sky Sanctuary is like, well, you know, the color's not really right, but I know that was, like, a big fucking thing when the game was being shown off, people saying, Sky Sanctuary's not yellow enough, and everyone's making fun of them for that. Um, so I didn't know if it was a good idea to mention it and have people go like, Oh, Sonic fans getting mad that Sky Sanctuary's not yellow. 
I have to second guess every fucking line of that video just because I know someone's gonna find a way to like just get irrationally well, upset about it. Unfortunately, the Sonic fan base is a bunch of bad faith assholes. Like they, they just like especially the. It's Twitter not the ones. Sonic fan base. It's just Twitter. Well, it's just uh, yeah, but I'm but I'm saying that this is where he's posting his stuff is in the Sonic fan base. Like, like the, I'm yeah, trying for right. this video not to think about it too much, but it's always gonna be in the back of my mind of like no matter what I say, like there's gonna be someone taking it the wrong way. No, yeah, I mean, there's people that, like, are red in the face mad that I made Shadow a Chef in Christmas with Sonic. Like, they're just people are going to be upset no matter what you do. Like, Kalem, you made a tweet, ah. a positive tweet about Frontiers, about, hey, they should bring the Child Garden back, and people gave you shit for that! Yeah, because apparently I'm, well, I'm a classic cuck, but also I'm an adventure fanboy, and I'm like, ah, uh, okay. Well, could you be consistent <laughs> with your criticism? <laughs> well, yeah, have fun watching my new video where I, I'm pretty critical on adventure. Not that I think it's bad, but just, you know, I am I am delivering some pretty deserved criticism towards it. <laughs> die, die, die. I'm not, oh, that's the thing is like, I'm not, I really try to avoid having to put that in my opinion at like every fucking sentence. I really avoid doing that as much as I can. So I hate it. It just, it ruins the, the flow of the video. That's why I always send people that Joseph Anderson video, the subjectivity is implied one. It's so good where he just says like, if you seriously think we need to like add all this fluff to our videos, just so you stop getting mad about it, then like, I don't think you realize, like, what the final video is going to sound like. It's not going to be good. It's going to be very annoying. Very stilted. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why, uh, you know, there was that little stint where I was, like, kind of doing, like, you know, game reviews. Like, dude, just for fun, obviously. I never I never wanted to break in huh. or anything. Like, I, like, my generation's review and stuff. It's just people take everything you say just so to heart, even though it's, like, pretty clear you're just expressing yourself. Yeah, I, it just gets too exhausting. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm at least with animations. It's like you know, it's kind of just like you're. It, that's it's in that little world. It's not something that's gonna affect. Me. I would like to do Games more original game. stuff like that again instead of just doing videos about other things and like me talking about them. I would like to make more original things. Again, something like whether it's animations or even like trying to get into like game stuff. What is this music? This must be a new inclusion in some one of the one of Pariah's mods he recommended. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, it's just that that kind of stuff takes way more time and effort, and with very little reward. I actually don't like the music in this. I think the silence kind of adds to the dread of going up to the death egg. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly well, right uh, as well, Pariah. Yeah, if you're positive, no one really cares. But if you're negative, then it's like, oh, mm -hmm. what the fuck? How dare you? Yeah, that's really true. Um, I do have to get going now, everybody, because I've got to go do my exercises for the day. Um, it was lovely Bye, being on Steve. here. And Ted, and Jace, and Kalen, thanks for being fun. This was fun. I, we, next time you Hello. ever want me on a stream, I'd gladly hang out. Uh, for everybody else, um, I'm gonna, I'll, 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 I make Sonic animations, and I, you know. Yeah, go support Hello. the Patreon. <laughs> he needs the help. If Steve's Patreon yeah, got, first. got enough money, then he can pay me to work on his videos yeah. as well. It, that's very true. If we got, if we made enough on Patreon, I could pay Kalen to make beautiful bad nicks for me, uh, which he, you know I would love to um, for Sonic Warriors. But anyway, everyone, uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great rest Bye, of the stream, Steve. and I'm sure I'll talk to Bye. you guys later, uh, like in, in, in yeah, other yeah, little yeah. chats. I mean, I'm going to so. be writing yeah. for most of the day, but yeah. Uh, Bye. 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 Oh shit! No, we're good. So glad you're that goes done well. too. Yeah, we're almost yep. uh I forgot how good uh, like Sky Sanctuary's level design actually kind of is. I um quite yeah, like Sky it. Sky Sanctuary is really mm -hmm. fun. I like the way it kind of flows the level layers together a bit better without it like really heavily um blocking you off. Like you can kind of jump between the foreground and background a bit easier. With the way the platforms kind of move and float, it's cool. It's just so funny. When I played Sonic 3 and Knuckles on Steve's Mega SG, I just wanted to try it out and see what it was like, and I ended up playing through the whole thing, getting the ah. Super Emeralds and everything, just because it's, it's just such a solid game. Mm -hmm. It sure is.
I forget how many times Cameron played it once he got 3 a.m. I was just thinking that. Yeah, oh my god, who was playing it like. We play every day. Who's his heroin? Does the drop dash not work on these electric things? It's weird. I was trying to drop dash and I was just like stopping. Oh, here we go. Oh, I remember being stuck on this as a kid where I was like, what the fuck? What am I doing? That is the thing. Like, there's, there's a few things in the classic games as well where I feel like. Uh, we kind of forget, as like very experienced players, what it's like for for someone to play them for the first time. Just the kind of weird little bits where like we're used to the tricks to get past it straight away, but like a first time player is gonna have that kind of like, huh? What am I doing? Like what? I have to like do this barrel thing. I've got to like hit these buttons on this thing. I can't even see on camera because the the window is not wide enough. Uh, nope. The most interesting concept. I really want them to do a 3D version of the gameplay in Sonic CD. I can't stop thinking about that now. Give Sonic like this really cool. Yeah, that would be fun. Give Sonic like all these flowful moves he can chain together, running off walls and shit, and and like bouncing off things and just keeping his flow going between 3D geometry instead of like only being able to run straight forward. Give him like that kind of Spider-Man thing to be able to like cut corners and turn around and do all this cool shit. Um, and then give him, yeah, like the time travel thing or even just the the advance to like boost state thing, which is kind of just the time travel without the time travel, where it's like you have to build up speed and maintain it for a while and then you get this thing. You know, just building that flow and then hitting that amount where it's like, bam, there you go, time travel. Or like, bam, now the boost mode's on. It'd be so fucking fun. 3D Sonic can absolutely fucking work. There's so much they could do. 3D Sonic could be the best. They just it could be better than 2D Sonic. Yeah, and they just choose not to do it. I don't get it, man. Stupid. Like I know it's like a there's a budgetary thing and everything, but just like so annoying. Very unfortunate. It's a good thing I'm almost done, because I kind of need to, uh, maybe not call our friend Spongebob, but, um, I do need, <laughs> I do need some kind of little bathroom visit. Go see Bob Yellow. I mentioned the Spongebob thing and fucking no one in the chat's gonna know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, did we, no, did we explain it to someone I think you on the Helldivers people. stream? I think. On your and by stream? We definitely explained it at least at some point somewhere. Yeah, I know I had to like tell Tom about it the other day, I think. <laughs> ah. The lore just goes so deep. The SpongeBob lore. The SpongeBob lore is very closely intertwined <laughs> with the earthquake lore. I think I mentioned that on like like Emmy stream the other day, they're talking about earthquakes or something. I was like, yeah, I had my first earthquake when I was taking a shit at Steve's house. <laughs> 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 I I thought you were trying to shake me awake. I was like, because it felt like someone shaking, like the foot, like if you put your foot in the bed and shake it, it's like wake up, hey wake up. I was like, what? Because I, I knew you were in the bathroom. I looked up, I was like, what? And I looked, and you weren't there. I was like, wait. I looked over at Mike, and he was still sleeping. I was like, wait. The earthquake claw is is what we something's happening. Is what we just <laughs> described. But yeah, I, well, I was at Steve's house. Uh, I think it was just 2019. Uh, my first time there, and yeah, one morning, woke up, used the toilet, and I'm noticing like the walls kind of like wobbling around and shit, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And then I, it kind of hits me where I'm like, oh, hey, wait, is this what an earthquake feels like? Because like, I've never done this before. I, I've never, oh, It was no. super weird, you could say. You could say it was super weird. Um... And yeah, that was like kind of scary. Cause I was like, "What? What do I do? Like, I I'm stuck on this fucking toilet, man. I'm not getting up. Like, <laughs> am I supposed to like run and hide?" Um, so that was a little bit scary. So now the the joke is that every time I go to shit, it's like, "Oh, look out, guys! The fucking earthquake's gonna start again." <laughs> and also, we call shitting, uh, calling SpongeBob or watching SpongeBob because of an image of SpongeBob holding a piece of toilet paper coming out of the toilet. Um, why is this thing not- Mod roll, if you will. Am I so used to, like, just running past this that I don't remember, like, I'm supposed to, like, move this thing? Or is this bugged? Okay, no, now- what? No? What? No, that's how it- that's how it works. Like, if you jump on it, it'll move. 
Oh, okay. Right. Nah, it still hits me. Okay, so I just gotta jump on it again. Or I can just yeah. fucking run past it. Like, it's fucked up. Usually I have the electric shield, or like hypersonic, though. This boss is kind of a cool idea. I kind of like what they're going for with this one. Uh, it's still not, like, great, but at least it's something. Ooh, that was close. Pry, have you gotten through more of Breaking Bad yet? Or are you still in just Season 1? Because I've, I've almost I think finished... I have watched all three episodes. But, shut up. <laughs> I've almost finished Better Call Saul. You know, I've just got two episodes left. Oh, what? Ow. Oh, I've got one ring. Oh, you watched an episode last night? Yeah. Um... It was the Breaking Bad one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. So yeah, just, uh, just two more. Nope. There we go. Dropped it partway through season two. Oh, man. Well, I hope you get back to it eventually. I got no rings. They fucked this up in Origins as well, where like the fingers don't, um, sure the fingers don't anticipate like, before they come down. Bam. Look at um that really uh <laughs> look at Mobius back there guys. Oh fuck <laughs> tails! Ah oh, you fucking prick. <laughs> Asshole. I'm so used to looking out for that too, and you know I still I still fucked it. That's why I hate playing with tails when I play. Pariah, I think your Origins video was the the first video of yours I saw. Oh fuck. It was the first video of yours I saw. Um we were talking about the like all the shit they fucked up, and I was like, "Hey, this guy gets it." Because so many people were just like, "Oh, the music," and I was like, "Yeah, there's a lot more than that. <laughs> a lot of stuff." I think we should mod this to be the Chronicles version. The Chronicles version? Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting Chronicles. Chronicles just uses bits of old music, just like that. Oh, right? shit. Yeah, what was the one before that, Pariah? Because I know that one, yeah, it looked like, I think I looked back through other videos, I was like, oh, they're doing alright, but like, that Origins one's clearly like a big one. Um, it was like 100k or something views, I think. I'm not sure what before that was like your big one. If I had to guess, it would be like fucking Sonic Adventure 2 or something. What the fuck? I don't know what I did there. Would you say 3 and K beats Mania in terms of narrative, atmosphere, and sense of immersion? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I oh, yeah. that's why I put 3 and Knuckles as my favorite. Because even though I think Mania overall has better level design and is more consistent, uh, 3 and Knuckles has... Um, what the fuck? Okay, that's really weird. 3 and Knuckles just feels more cohesive. Oh, the classic Sonic Lore one? Yeah, okay, I remember watching that one too. Like, really early on when I found your videos. And I was like, yeah. This is good. Classic. Like, <laughs> I think I left a comment on it. I was like, yeah, this is fucking what I miss so much about Sonic. This is what, like, I want to come back. Dude, downloading YouTube videos, like, with YouTube Premium and shit for a plane ride is so fucking useful. That's what I- because, you know, I've got to deal with these fucking, like, 14-hour- Oh, fuck, too early. Oh, okay. Um, i got to deal with, like, these really long flights to America every year. Um, 
And so, yeah, I just grab, like, a bunch of podcasts and, like, YouTube video essays and stuff that I haven't gotten to yet. And, um, god, these fucking garbage trucks, man, they're still going. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, like, really, really useful. Fuck, 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 ah, oh, no, I'm too greedy. Oh, I, us I usually get this just, like, first try, but now I'm, like, those fucking <laughs> fingers are, like, fucking me and shit. I'm always too scared to hit the emerald, like, twice. I yeah, yes, yeah, with- fuck out and do it once. If I didn't have tails, I would probably, uh... I would probably do it all the time. I always like the design of this robot as well. It's like really, really imposing, but uh, still like, you know, it's still cartoony, but it's it's got like just this, I love the, like the highlights on the metal. Like the red kind of look to it. It's really fucking cool. The classic art style is just like, I miss it so fucking bad. Mm-hmm. And I'm, re I'm really trying not to make that like the focus of my video. Like, I don't want to overshadow the gameplay stuff with it, but I really do want to mention it of like, Sonic Adventure is the reason we don't have this look anymore. Um, and we never really truly got it back. There we go. I, yeah, I still like Sonic Sprite in this, but I think I've come to find that I prefer his look in 1 and 2. I think the the simplicity, you know, he's more readable immediately in, like, the 1 and 2 sprites, whereas this, the, the added kind of shading and, like, sort of stubbiness on him uh, makes him a little less uh, clear. Like, he's got a bit less clarity just visually looking at his sprites. Um, and... I still wish Mania gave him, like, an actual new set of sprites instead of, like, uh, kind of redoing the Sonic 1 look. Um, but I, I also kind of get it, because it's like it was just a nice, simple look. It was very, yeah, just very clear. Um, whereas, yeah, the Sonic 3 sprites for Sonic is a little bit, uh, I don't know, maybe just a bit too much kind of trying to detail and round off the edges and stuff. I think there's a happy medium to reach the... I think Sonic Galactic had, like, really good Sonic sprites. I mean, they have good sprites for everyone. It's fucking missiles, man. Just mash jump. Oh, Sonic Studio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I do remember thinking that looked really good. I know Steve really loves the music in that. Like the, uh, the editor music when you're making a stage. This is another part where I wouldn't blame a new player being like, What the fuck do I do? Like, what am I- what am I supposed to do here? Ah, oh, come on. Down here, motherfucker. Ah. Uh. I think I remember getting here as a kid and yeah, just like dying over and over because I was like, what the fuck? Like, what am, what am I doing? I'm running out of time. There's no rings here. Oh, shit. Cool. Them little lasers, man. There we go. I don't think Doomsday Zone sucks, but it's it's not like it's not great. Like at least it's it's simple enough where you can't really get like too confused of like this whole new control scheme. Um, but it's not yeah, it's not ideal. I, I would prefer it was a bit more integrated with Sonic's actual movement and platforming because you're not doing any platforming here. You're just flying. So it's like a cool little power trip at the end of the game, but um, and a great spectacle to finish off the the series on Mega Drive, but, um, yeah, it's not really fitting of Sonic's gameplay. There we go. More exciting than the Frontiers bosses.
Be interesting that most of the Sonic games after copied this idea of using Super Sonic for the final boss. Yeah. Yeah. Except they took away the ability to like actually be supersonic uh, normally. Yeah. Um, they make getting the emeralds like part of the game. They just kind of put it in the story, which like I, I get it, but it's like uh, the special stages have never been like amazing. I think the Mania ones are the best, but um, mm -hmm. at least it was like that fun extra challenge, you know, that gives you something to look for, to explore for, gives you something to master, get the Chaos Emeralds as early as possible, and you know, it's kind of cool. That was part of the fun. This song makes me feel like I'm like, I don't know. Like some kind of stranger? Like some sort of, yeah, in some sort of like area, like cold, <laughs> perhaps like Eastern European. Perhaps on some island. <laughs> the Sonic Advance games really bother <laughs> me with their special stages too. I think they handled the, stage, the special stages so badly in all three of the Advance games. Um, like, Advance 1 was the closest to being good, but there's like only like one spring per level, and they're like really annoying to find, partially because the screen crunch, because it's so like, uh, you know, it's really hard to actually look around and see where you're going. Oh, Advance games on Retro <sighs> Engine, that would be cool. That'd be interesting. I wonder if level design would allow it. Uh... Yeah, I don't really, I don't really understand how any of the engine stuff works in the background, I have no idea. I'm just curious if they can make the physics match enough, because I don't know how strong the physics are in uh, like in advanced games. Because level design would be designed around characters controlling yeah, a certain yeah, way. Yeah. You would never make it so you could change the control of your character just because you know you don't know how to set it up. That would be ridiculous. They would never do that. Can you imagine a game that made you customize the turning radius and speed and like boost speed and starting speed and bounce height? And all these things that should, you know, just be in the game normally. Can you imagine a game that made you do that to make it play well? Yeah. What and do I think of S? I think S is pretty cool. I saw I saw them delete the comment. I'd probably just typo. <laughs> is the Insta Shield in advance like good? I'm pretty sure I remember the Insta Shield no. being kind of shit. Doesn't like do yeah. anything. It's so like the Sonic Mania Insta Shield. It gets the invincibility part right. Like it's very easy to like move through things without taking damage in Mania, but they didn't get the attack radius thing working properly um, in Mania. Like you try to hit enemies that are kind of far away with the Insta Shield, and it just doesn't do anything. Yeah, it was a typo. I figured you're, you're fine. <sighs> <clears throat> Oh, I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> Good thing the stream's almost over. Yeah, if anyone has any, some food anyway. if anyone has any last-minute, you know, questions or anything, get them in quick before I run to the bathroom <laughs> to end the stream. To meet SpongeBob. Yeah, SpongeBob might be there waiting for me. Oh my god, is that the garbage truck again? How long yeah, does it take? Do they usually take this long? I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, maybe. I mean, maybe it's two separate trucks for rubbish and recycling? Uh, I'm not sure. Da, 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 da. So I'm looking at my window. Dude, they should bring Hypersonic back, bro! It's like so important! Favorite SpongeBob episode? I don't fucking know. <laughs> the, one the, one, <laughs> the one where I shit. <laughs> Oh, and they added Amy on there because I have the Amy mod. Well, that's kind of cool. I haven't really tried the Amy mod much. I think it's a Origin Superstars moveset. Favorite Sonic character is Sonic. <laughs> um, when Sonic is good, you know. Would I have a yeah, hedgehog as a pet? Sense. Nah. All right, turn off the recording. Being terrible pets. Oh my god. Yeah, family has to deal with that. Yeah. They're also just not really meant for us. Okay, the recording is... Is it finished? Is it there? Is it... No, it's still I think. Hold on. Turn off recording. There we go.
Excellent. All right. Uh, I really need to use the bathroom, so I'm gonna <laughs> okay. I'm gonna end the stream here. Favorite? Oh, third favorite uh -huh. game of all time, dude. I <laughs> we're getting into like some some granularity here. It's not even letting me close the game. Oh, whatever. Just... What's your 87? <laughs> What's my 87% yeah. most favorite game? Um, I don't know. A super weird one. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna wrap the stream up here. Just again, final thing. For all I know, I might be back at like work again in like a week, I don't know, but I'm really trying to get the script done for the Sonic video. Um, so at least it's like there and ready to go. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, oh, can I finish it again? You just got here? Yeah, let me just play it again. Um, anyway, yeah, thank yeah. you all for coming. Um, I'll probably stream Metroid Prime when I need footage for that for the video again if I'm still at home doing YouTube shit. So, all right, thank you all for coming. I really need to use the bathroom, so bye. Bye. Bye-bye.